Do you smell like marijuana? I do? Yeah. I didn't smoke today to make sure. You smell like marijuana. It's well, I mean, I do smoke, but... It's probably in your car. Yeah. Why is that a bad thing? No, no, I don't care at all. You just, oh, you're just saying it's like a point? Oh. No, I was just saying, I just thought of it. I was like, I was like, okay, I know it's not them. Unless it's you, Nate. Nah, I didn't smoke today. Okay. Nah. Because it, it could be Nate. No, nah, no, nah, I didn't smoke today because I didn't want to be, you know. Yeah, because... Oh, shit, I don't even want to talk about the one pod we had where the dude was so high. Oh, no. <laughs> but I don't get <laughs> high like that, to be honest. No, bro. Bro, you don't, don't mention names. All right, so, yeah. <laughs> we did one podcast. I, out of I, I've never I've like I've never had this happen before. I did a podcast with a guy, and uh, I, my thought was like, you know, I guess the guy's why I'm bringing up this weed thing. He came in super high, and uh, <laughs> like really high. But like weed high or like? No, nah, he was like weed high. Yeah, he was sure? probably too high. Okay. And uh, we're going to talk about other highs in a sec here too. But <laughs> yeah, because um, I saw you did ayahuasca, which is sick. We're going to talk about it. Yeah. But so anyways, he comes too high, and I'm trying to interview him, and he's like, his questions are like answers. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit, dude, deep. That's that's <laughs> deep. No, but anyways, um, dude, what? First of all, I don't want to get into all the drama shit first. first I love off. that you don't do intros, by the way. Yeah, I don't no. know why I hate intros so much. Intros I think they're suck. so like outplayed. It's like start it, bro. People are here yeah, to see what yeah. they want to see. Yeah, yeah. So not the drama shit right away, but l let's talk about you. Like you had a pretty crazy um, time on YouTube. You've had a crazy time. Yeah. Like you've gone through a lot mm -hmm. of shit because I've seen a lot of stuff. Um, you've dealt with like, you know, some substance issues. Yeah. Which uh, I, I don't, I'm bro. I don't, you can ask me anything. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, like, no, I'm yeah. a super open book. You know, people learn from things like that. And also I just don't like really closeting secrets and shit like that. It's like, why? It's yeah. like, also, I feel like it also motivates people to tell the truth also and the kind of destroy the stigma but around a lot of different things. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so first of all, I mean, to the people who don't know, how did you get started in like on the internet first off? So YouTube, I found it in, oh, I started YouTube making video videos in 06. So it's been a really fucking Holy long time. Fuck. I was 10 years old. I started making videos for like, originally like WWE intros, like compilations like Jeff Hardy wait, and shit wait. like that. Wait, what? And I'd take rap songs and I'd put the Alvin and the Chipmunks, Alvin and the Chipmunks like pitch on it with audacity. And I'll put Alvin and the Chipmunk remix to like Lil Jon and like, I don't know, motherfuckers when like that. When you were 10? Yeah. Oh my God. I was trolling. I, don't, I thought it was funny. That was my first like 30K views. I was like, oh my God. I'm like Lil Jon. It's funny as hell. So you, what made you want to be a YouTuber? Um, originally it was just like interesting that there was like videos online and shit. So I would just post random stuff, but I didn't want to be a YouTuber. I was just posting videos. Oh, okay. And then when it came to like Call of Duty in like 2009, me and my friends from school, we just upload YouTube to show each other montages and clips and shit. So, so, so. obviously there's a, there's something to that. Like when did you start getting heavy into video games? Always. I was in video games before. Like even, even in 06, even though I was only uploading like Dragon Ball Z and like Naruto music video or anime music videos are so lame, but like I was making shit like that. And I would even just record my screen and upload like Dragon Ball Z gameplay. It's like, I've been doing gaming for a long time. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. and what do you what do you like most about it? And you still do it to today? Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. Not as much. I still play a lot though. Um, if I saw, when I start making content again for it, I'm of course going to play every day. But I just, I don't know. I just like video games. I just always have since I was a kid. And maybe it was just, I didn't really like my area growing up where I lived. That's so how to stay inside and play you the game. Outside, yeah. yeah. I fully really, I love video yeah. games, man. I'm heavy, like nerd. Yeah. Even, I play a lot less now just because. The amount of things that I have play? to do, I played everything. Oh, like Halo. I played that's Star, my favorite Star game of all time. Yeah, that's that? my Halo Three. Yes, I Halo Three specifically. Yeah, three, three specific. Not two. Two is cool, but three is like super ahead of its time, bro. It had everything that a game should have today, and it still doesn't. It's insane. It has everything. Yeah, it's true. Like I it's, made montages from Halo without like anything to record with because the Bungie.net used to have like. You bro. could upload your clips there. It was crazy. We got to. I mean, I don't want to get too into Halo because it's like a no, really no. sad spot for me. But like, I guess I want to ask you this question before we get into the rest of this interview about you. I want to. I want to know your opinion on why do you think some games just completely go to shit eventually? So I used to think for a long time Activision was stupid. I'm like, how do they not listen? How do they not listen? Why do they keep doing this? Why are they dropping a new game every single year? What the fuck is wrong with their brains? But then what I realized is that the only reason they were doing this is because the people at Activision aren't necessarily fans of gaming or Call of Duty. Oh, it's just money. They were building IPs to Got sell it. it to Microsoft. That's all they were doing. There's no other way for me to see it because they would have made so much more money and been a bigger like, game <clears throat> if they just made Call of Duty, took the best of everything, and just updated that game like Counter-Strike or League of Legends or all these other games. That's the meta. You don't that, make multiple uh, games every yeah. year. You make one game and you perfect it. You make it as good as you can. But I feel like that's a newer style of like production now because it's the way that- has been out for a decade. League of Legends has been out for like over a decade. It's like- Did they have um, in-game purchasable shit? But that was like, is it after the- All Fortnite? those games have that. But did they have it? Did Counter-Strike? I mean, you know the Counter-Strike gambling stuff, right? Like the skins and everything. That's been yeah. around since like 2015, 14. 
So I see. I'm, I'm not. I wasn't that big into Counter Strike. Okay, but that was before Fortnite. Four years before, five years before. Yeah. Okay, but so even f- longer because it came out in 2012. So, so. what? What? So did, did Counter Strike start the in-game purchase thing? I don't know they started it, but they were definitely like the most. Like I don't know another game because Fortnite sold skins made that as, shit famous. Like they made everyone do that. But here's the issue with Fortnite too: is that you just buy your skin and then you can't really like sell it or do something with it. But it's also made for kids, so they don't want kids like selling skins and doing all that. Yeah, shit, which right? is the I, so you're saying because I didn't. I kind of knew about this. Like there were scandals and all this shit. People were like selling. With Counter Strike? Yeah. Dog, if only you knew. Dude, someone just got like an AK that's a case hardened blue gem selling it for. He said, I'm going to entertain offers after $400,000. Recently. Yeah, like a, what, a month ago? All the skins. People went up. still do Bro, that. Everything that I used to have in like 2015 skin wise, at one point I had like a $200,000 like inventory in, in 2015. Shit would be worth like a million at least now. Everything Today. Went up cr- oh, yeah. People everything. still do that. Bro, yes. Even Tico was telling me he had a Dragon Lore, one of these rare like snipers in the game. And I used to have like 10 of them, bro. But apparently they're like. I forgot how much, what the exact number is. I don't want to like bullshit, but it went up significantly. So I'm assuming these are skins that you get from like cer- achieving certain points. No, in a game, no? it's all um, random. No, it's so they have it, the way that they do it is they have cases. So you get okay. like these little like cases Remember, and then like, you have Overwatch. to buy keys. Okay. So that's the thing. Okay. Anyways, sorry. Yeah, this, no. I, or, I'm such a nerd because <laughs> okay, stop. okay. Let's talk about you, man. So you, you, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm 10. You're making these videos. Mm-hmm. He's like fucking wrestling things. And then what you go, like, I'm good at video games and my, I'm always curious about this video game thing. Like, because, um, I was good at video games, but there's just a different level of like good at video games when it comes to like streamers and like people who are really good at that shit. The craziest thing is, in my opinion, a lot of these bigger streamers aren't even the best. They're just like known as They're the best. But there's, too. That's what it is. It's yeah. like, Unless you're the literal best, like the number one guy, being the number five guy isn't that good. I'd rather be number 50 or 100 and be way funnier, or way more entertaining, or just a cooler person than number two and just kind of a dork. Because those like, num- or not number two, number two still do well, but like the top 10, like if you're not entertaining within like after five to 10, you don't really get as big in my opinion. Like I don't see that many like gamers that are like really like have no personality, like no energy get to a certain point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because but well, that's like, like the same thing we could talk about in the fitness industry is like someone could have like the greatest physique, but if they if there's no substance to them, at some yeah. point people are like, I'm bored. Exactly. So they people yeah. are we're they're here to be entertained, right? So in the beginning they watch like those good players to see what they, how they can make themselves better. Yeah. But you'd rather just watch a guy who's like really good at entertaining at the same time. So were, were, were you like really really good? Or were you mid? Well, and it was on a the whole good, really world good. back then. Back yeah. then it was like about trick shots, man. So that at that point when I joined Face, it was entirely about how good you were. It did not matter who the hell, no, nobody even knew what I looked like, what I sounded like. It wasn't about any of that. Yeah. You know, it was just straight up about how good you are at trick shotting. And then like in 2013 is like when it started shifting a little bit, 2013. How come 14. I can never pull that trick shotting shit off, dude? You just gotta do it all day, bro. It's like anything. You know what I mean? You're you just spinning all around and you're just randomly you shooting? T- you don't randomly, you time it. It's you, random. You, no, it's not. Because you luck. time it. It's luck to hit the actual no scope, but the timing, you know what I mean? It's like, all bullshit. I think it's just luck. Ah! You guys do it a thousand. It's just like, the, you know that, you know that, uh, fuck, what's his name? The actual shot hitting is luck, though. I agree with that. Tristan, you seen Tristan the Jazz? Jazz? Yeah, he just Okay, but him. same thing. So you don't think he knows how to get himself in that position to then throw the ball? Yeah, but he's there. That motherfucker's there doing it all day. It's not like, well, there you, you go. just see the one clip. That's what like, we were doing. Sitting in private matches for four or five hours a day, and then getting in the game for like 10 hours, like all day, bro. All day. So it's like, a, eventually you figure it out like anything in life, right? Why do you think that shit became so popular? Just because it was, it was cool. wild. They would jump off cool. and spin and fucking. Yeah, because people cared so hard about Call of Duty back then, and they all wanted to be good. And then there was people that were doing that. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I mean? So let, let's talk about the evolution of your content. So you started making content in like this, like kid stuff. And then when were you like, yo, I'm good at video games. I can do this. And then you start linking up with FaZe and you start creating this relationship. It or, was uh, 2011, you... okay. like 2011, like the year after FaZe like was created essentially. And um, I was supposed to get in FaZe in 2011, but then like, I don't know if you know Apex. He's my dog, my brother now, but he like, hated me so much when we were 14 because I showed a Call of Duty spot by accident. I didn't know it was a secret. I showed it, so he hated me for a long time. So it delayed me joining FaZe by like a year. And I kind of gave up, bro. I started like playing with all the kids I went to school with and stuff and not like my gaming friends. And like I got worse and I wasn't even a contender for FaZe at that point. So you knew you, were, you, you had a chance to get in, but then you fucked something up. So you, then you were like, oh, fuck, I, I ruined this yeah. opportunity. Yeah, like he, like she bass ended up telling me back then, he's like, yeah, we can't recruit you because like there's people on our team that don't like you. And it was Apex at the time, right? And he was making everybody hate. But he was like a kid, like we were both like 13, 14 year old yeah, kids. Yeah. Like it didn't matter, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, so, then a year later. So a year later you get in and, and what is this like? Cause you know, obviously I've seen some, some of the recent stuff you're talking about, like, you know, not in crazy detail. Cause I feel like you, at least I haven't seen the, in, any interviews of you really going into detail about it, but that's why I did that long ass one. I'm telling you about. Yeah. And it hasn't dropped yet. Has it? No. Nah, and you know, what's crazy. I was thinking about it yesterday. Like I talked for five and a half hours and I bet I left out so much details, bro. 
yeah. because it's so much. But I explained the general story, but there's still so many random details. I'd be like, oh yeah, that too, that too, that too. Yeah. So we're gonna try to get into a little bit. I guess I'm curious, like before before that happens though, like I guess describe describe to you like in your in your perspective, what's your relationship with like was phased from the beginning? Like I obviously it was all the boys. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And at some point I knew this because I remember I was making content and I saw like I saw kind of the, the progression of phase. Uh, going from like the boys content and then not becoming corporate, but like becoming they, corporate. they got, they got people bought people were like, yo, there's a lot of money in this shit. We're going to buy in. And I was always curious. I don't even know if you could say this or not. I probably can't. If but. you don't mind, I'll say whatever I know. And yeah. then if you let my lawyer look at this before we post it, then I'll say whatever you want. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. So my question, first off, I guess I was always curious how much did the people who came in buy and how much do they own well the issue is there was a bunch of different most of it to be honest that's the thing but it's a lot of different people right it's like the people that actually are phased and that's what started a lot of this and i'm gonna get into that it's like why i ended up feeling that way because it just felt so wrong to me that so many random people got brought in slash bought in and then the people that deserve to have shares and ownership of the company didn't and now they're being like manipulated into working for what they already should own so they got turned into employees and it's weird to me yeah. You know what I mean? It's tough. It's tough, though, because, like, you know, if people with money come in and they buy whatever. Like, it's hard to say. Like, I can understand both sides. It's just, like, it's then for, like, individuals to protect themselves in the situations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because a lot can, of us were younger, too, at the time, right? So yeah. We didn't really... So you get the business guy with the money and the acclimate is going to come in and be like, you know, I could not necessarily take advantage, but I'm going to do my best to protect myself and my interest, right? Yeah. So, like, you also can't blame. I wouldn't blame these people for treating it that way because, like, that's how kind of business works. And, I mean, if. I've been around the block enough to know that motherfuckers will run you dirty like the minute that they can. But my question is like, where, where were you in it before? Like, cause you've had some ups and downs obviously with yourself yeah. mm -hmm. um, on social media. Like, where were you in it? Like, how did you know you were invested to a point where for you to come out and say, yo, this is what I think this is what happened. You must've been told something that like, oh, yo, you're going to have this or you're going to have that. And then something changed. You mean, but that's the thing. They were never really transparent. Oh. Like me as a major shareholder, I never knew how much everybody else had. When did you start to get shares when you were like, this is what I have? We split it 25, 25, 25 in 2015, early 2015. We split it four ways. Banks? Me, Banks, Tommy, Apex. We all Got split it 25. Because Tommy, at the original, like when it was just like a, you know, before it was just like a clan or whatever. So was you four? percent yeah. Okay, I was always curious. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we all owned it equally. And then a bunch of like fuck shit happened and you know. But I'll, I'll get into all that. Yeah, well, so what, well, so what happened? So you guys owned I mean, four ways. Did you meet our old CEO? No, it's crazy because nobody knows about him. Nobody even knows I'm, like everything he did to us. I might but have. But I went over it with that other interview for sure. I might have. So what happened? Um, pretty much. But so hold on. Let's take it. So you guys are four together. Like, yo, we're in this. We're equal. Yeah. And you guys are all good. Yeah. And then We're someone, on the same page. We're all just Someone killing. brings in uh, like a money guy. He wasn't even a money guy. He was a finesse guy who told him, oh, I know guys from here, here. I can help you guys do his structure, this, that. But he's just a pathological liar who, will, like, I genuinely believe has, like, a real mental illness. Like, he really can't stop lying, bro. Like, it's insane. So, but he, insane. he must have got in with money, though. He brought in a guy who he said he knew since he was a kid who was, like, royalty in Norway. And then he invested a lot of money. And he, that's why, you know, he still has what he has. But that guy ended up stealing all the money, essentially. The other guy. Oh, yeah. Had his wife on salary, allegedly, by the way, for $600,000 a month for his wife. <laughs> so, okay. $600,000 yeah. a month. Allegedly. So, that's what, what I hear. What, what can you say? Like, how much money a month is fucking FaZe bringing in at this point? It was a ma I mean, bro, it was, it was the first, like, really massive, like, gaming fucking entity. Yeah. Like, as far as on social, where people are like, yo, this but is exactly cool. it. That's why my biggest thing was preserving that for FaZe. Because, to be honest, like, we could lose all of our esports teams. Cool. Fine. We just go buy another one like every other org does. Who cares? People aren't really attached to orgs for their esports teams like that. Unless that team has stayed around for a long time, like Optic. Optic, like Call of Duty, might be like right. the only exception because like Scump and people like that. Yeah. But like other teams, like no one gives a fuck. You just like it's all like pros. And if they do well, they do well. Like even our Atlanta phase, I, li I like all the boys on the team, but like they're not like ingrained into the phase identity like that. It's not like they've yeah. been around since 2012, 13. So it doesn't matter as much. What you have to preserve is like the content creation team, yes. that side of the band, because that's what gives the rest of the esports team strength. 
Yeah. Right. So yeah, well, that's a thing. I don't want to blow that. And these motherfuckers are stupid as hell, and they're just saturating that shit, selling that shit out, and focusing on like that end, the esports end, which isn't even profitable. So it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. I mean, I get it. I get it. I can understand both. I don't know how much. I don't know enough about the esports and how much actual physical dollars are in that. But I do know what you're saying about the content creators and like them being a really integral part. Like brands nowadays can be very successful without content creators, but but it's very very hard to get to that point. Yeah. And nowadays it's like, like especially all the new things coming up. If they're not, if they don't have like a strong backbone of people who are like you know, yo, this is the brand I fuck with. Like they're mm -hmm. repping it because people are more engaged with people than they are with companies. And they've always been of that course. way. But nowadays, any massive company, like even if Apple tweets something, they they're going to do like crazy engagement as even though we all have no. an Apple phone, no one gives a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no Cause people love people. Exactly. So that's, so I totally understand that perspective. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like, I mean, again, I don't know all the details. It sounds like, but I saw the stuff. I saw the video. I saw your video talking about, it, and I was like, this kind of makes sense. Like this kind of happens when money comes in and then you people, see straight out of Compton. Was that? You've seen straight out of Yeah, and then they're like, yo, we can we can profit off this. And then it kind of takes away from what it was originally. Yeah. So when did that start happening? Uh, fuck, like 2018, 2018. It's been a long time, bro. And how, so what, what were the so Even like that, when I saw you in Calabas, for example, like that's what I was going through it, bro. I was dealing yeah. with that guy, that old CEO. And it's like, it just sucks, man, to feel like your whole like company got robbed away from you. And like our connection, especially like all of us, like. I guess like the younger guys, like we have such a strong emotional attachment to face because we were all like massive fans at one point joined in. It was a huge deal to us. You know, yeah. like we made it like this, that. So it's like, I, that's why I don't give a fuck about the money. That's why I did my thing is my shit was worth $60 million at one point. Fuck that. Don't care. Don't care. I don't want to make that money if phase is dying. I don't want to sell out my shares and like let phase die. I can't do that. Every, we all had a million shares each at the time. And then he randomly gave them all 400,000 and not me. So it's like, to me, it bothered me because I never took a salary ever 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 never took a salary because i'm like i want phase to have the money i i uh lent phase three hundred thousand dollars to buy our counter-strike team at the time and obviously i wasn't like i don't have like fucking 10 million or 20 million or something like that it was like it was a decent amount for me it was probably a little bit over 10 percent of what i had so gave that to the counter-strike team and then they kind of just like said fuck you for like six years bro like for that money that i gave them for never taking a salary and my, and my head was like i'll take care of this brand now so they got me later what is there was no God in me later, but what was, well, yeah, what, what was saying? <laughs> fuck you. What does fuck you mean? What, what well, does that mean? Like they made up a trillion different excuses to why they couldn't pay me back. Like uh, so many different excuses, like, oh, we can't cause of this, that, that. And then apparently like through passing, I heard from like somebody else at the old CEO said like, fuck him. He's not getting his money. Anyways, he thought like we we're going to give him his money. The old one, he's gone. And like, he scammed a bunch of people. Like he even scammed all of us out of like hundreds of thousands individually investing into his company. And Certainly. you guys are all good with that. And they're good with that. So, but my question, like, good with that. meaning like you guys are good with what each other have. You four are good with I don't care. That, yeah, no, that's the thing. With, the, with us four, I don't give a fuck. A lot of them, like we have a glorified middleman who got more shares than like Alex and Rug combined. Like why? How do you come into the company and be a glorified middleman? All he does is pass information for Lee and he gets more shares than Alex and Rug. How? Yeah. In what yeah. fucking world? Why do these boomers just to walk in and take more shares than the dudes that built it? And let's just be realistic about who's more valuable. Like who can be replaceable? We could swap them out every day and nobody would notice. We can't swap out Alex and Rug every day and nobody would. That's not how it works. No, They're the ones with the leverage. But the way that they did is they came in, set up their flag, started bringing people in. And it's not like we got paid. If we all got paid for this to happen, sure, we sold out the company. It's our fault. But it's never yeah. happened. It's not like any of us got paid for this. Not even Apex Banks. None of us got paid. Right? So it's not like we sold out the companies. It's that we trusted people to help us with our business structure. They brought in one person. They brought in one person. We did deal with a lot of lawsuits that we had to end up taking money to pay for. So that's an issue. Yeah. But then a lot of it was just them hiring incompetent staff and over hiring. Who's them? The corporate structure? The corporate motherfuckers. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't necessarily want to name. Because obviously it's not Tommy Banks and Apex. Yeah. All this face that everybody sees, it's not us. It's not Faze. It's not us deciding it. Half these members, when they see like Disney go up, they just found out we're doing a deal with Disney. When they see that this is going up, they just found that shit up. And it's just not the phase way, bro. Like, we all got to know this shit, come up with the plan. Yeah. Do we like this? Do we not like this? Oh, who would put it on their channel? Oh, who would do this video club? It's just, they don't think that way. They are on their weird middle-aged, midlife crisis ass, like trying to be phased, trying to get the cloud and attention and act like they're... It's weird. It's weird. All the politicking at the warehouse is weird to me. Y'all are old. So, so Like, y'all so, are old. So, Stop so, it. So does... <laughs> Does like how 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 does Banks how does how does Tommy feel about this how does Apex feel about this 
Have you talked to them um, like on the yeah, side? No, they agree that we need to change this. Like they agree with that. Tommy's always said that. Banks has always said that. But they don't agree with my approach to go public. That's that's the thing they disagree with 100 percent because they're like, no, we can just handle on the inside. We don't need to do this. But it's like, dog, I've been trying, been trying. for years. Yeah. So if, do you think like the outward reflection is not what phase should be like? Because obviously that's the thing we're talking about. If we're okay. if you're saying right now, Absolutely. hey, it's so, not about the money for me. Yeah, yeah. So remember, yeah. I was a huge fan of phase, right? So my the idea of phase, it's like the logo. It means it's like a symbol of hope, right? For all like the young kids who want to turn content creation or anything into a career like that idea of I don't want to live the nine to five life, go to school, do all the bullshit. I want to do something on the internet or just outside of that, right? Just something different than the regular life, right? So that's what FaZe always meant to me and a lot of fans, that like you could make it on video games, you can yeah. make it on YouTube, you can make it on this. Which and is so fucking cool, by the way. Extremely. It's and then amazing. it was like, you see these group of dudes all live together, all trying to make it. Like, you know what I mean? So that was like enticing to the viewer. And like, yeah. it was a thing they'd watch that and it was almost like we were a real life sitcom in a way. Like they'd yeah. watch and be like, damn, I wish I had that. I wish Family, I Family, camaraderie, all that. Yeah, like yeah. it's just something that fans would relate to and they'd respect and they would want to be a part of, right? That's why people watch sitcoms. They want that friend group. They want that life. They want that whatever. So that's like why that shit's popular. And um, that's what FaZe needs to stand for. Back in the day, whenever we'd recruit a member, they would instantly pop. You join FaZe, immediately you have a career. Made it, offered yeah. it. Now you join FaZe, bro. Like, no, I love pros. I think he's a great guy. But like, no respect to him. But he joined FaZe 1. We did a whole, we spent, what, six and a half million dollars on that fucking FaZe 1 thing. That's when they overspend crazy for 3,000 viewers. Imagine that, crazy. Um, Fuck. He joins FaZe. He gets 2,000 subs, bro. That's insane. Do you understand when I used to tag any of them on Instagram back in the day? It'd be like no less than well, 10K followers. Well, also. Just off a tag. But Instagram back in the day is a very different thing than Instagram today. What do, you, do, you, do people not still get as many followers off per Fuck tag? no, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. You, yeah, it used to be juiced. It really did. Like back in, well, it was bro, crazy, it, but, no, no, it was. It was fucking, it was Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Crazy. I used to tag them and blow their shit up But now it is a little different. Okay, so it's slightly but at the, Regardless I mean, though, putting in that much effort and resource into it, I would hope that you'd get more than 2,000 subscribers off spending that many millions. Right? I would oh, hope so, personally. For sure, right? for sure. But regardless, it wasn't even about Instagram. That was just an example. Even yeah. YouTube, right? You join, you'd get 100K on YouTube off rip. Even the first week when you joined FaZe back in the day. Not like that back in the day, back like, back, back, like 2013, 14, 15, mm -hmm. I'm saying. Um, and that was because subconsciously to the FaZe fan, wow, a new FaZe member, he's dope, he's valid. Yeah. They don't need to prove it to me because every other FaZe member has been valid. So you assume that they're good. Yeah. You know what I mean? The way that somebody joins the NBA and it's like, even the worst player in the NBA, he's still better than you at basketball and better than me at basketball, right? For sure. It's like, you know what I mean? So then it turned to a point to where we start recruiting, we just start over-recruiting, we start recruiting celebrities. That's my least favorite one because the celebrity's not a phase member. That's a spit in the face to the fan. But they're oh, trying to grow the brand. But that's not what you do and it actually takes away. They think it's growing the brand because they're like, oh, we're going to fucking dick ride all these people that have followers and are big rappers or whatever. But it actually does the opposite. Why not just make them ambassadors? Why not just do collabs? That would grow the brand. Making them a phase member is a spit in the face of the fan that wants to be in phase. It is. And I've been screaming that since day one. I'm like, why do we do this? Y'all are on dick. Y'all just want to meet these celebrities so bad and, and act like you're doing something for you don't think You don't think involving the celebrities is a, is a good thing? Involving them, not recruiting them. So, so here's what saying ambassador collabs, but never recruit okay. them. Not so here's members. my, I'm gonna give you, I got a little, here's my perspective on that. Absolutely. And I'm not saying you're wrong, but, um, I also, I don't fully see it the same way because when I look at it, you're talking something that we know from the inside, right? Ambassador, or you're talking about being a part of phase. So as long as they're not labeled as a phase member. Okay. But so here's the deal on the outside from a, from a, like a, a fan standpoint, everyone watching this content. There's no real difference with when they see, oh, their phase is doing something with them and he's an ambassador versus like, oh, that guy's in phase. No, it's a huge difference. You I get it for the for the third person, like the random dude that doesn't really know phase like that. But to anybody that actually keeps up with phase every day, is the reason that phase is where they are today and like the backbone of phase. You're talking about the audience. I'm, I'm talking about audience. Remember I'm talking that. about our main audience because there's phase yeah. fan. Like phase has gone so big to the point now where it's like there's phase fans that actually know shit and then there's people that know phase. Right, so okay. there's FaZe fans and there's people that know FaZe. So here's the deal. And the people that know FaZe only know it because of the FaZe fans. So you have to make these motherfuckers happy. Because these motherfuckers, they're going to know about us regardless. Check this out. Outside. I got to give you another counterpoint. Sure. Check this out. So these motherfuckers, right? The ones inside the real FaZe fans, which ride or die, they're, these help build the company from the beginning, right? I'm, I'm, Absolutely. They were there. Dude, so now, been here's the deal. So 10 years go by, these guys don't care. And I'm just, I got to play devil's advocate here. 10 years go by, these guys don't care as much because now they have families. Absolutely, right? yeah. So in order to get new new of these guys you have to bring people who were just like oh i know little yachty i know this exactly. guy no I, no i agree with and that. then they become these ones but they don't have to be labeled as phase members because that's the thing if you do if you make them as ambassador or you do collabs with them this side will still like be interested yeah. right so, but these people the main core will be the ones time this is this because you know what i mean by now no yeah, yeah but these people are going to be the ones that are 
like upset about it, the ones that are going to stop believing in FaZe. Like they're the ones that come on FaZe. FaZe just recruits anybody nowadays. Forgot this guy joined FaZe. Oh, another bullshit recruit. I see what Those you're saying. Those are the guys you don't want to piss off. But so I guess you what, what I'm mean? saying is like, the it's just our reflection. Like how do you do it, right? Because someone's going to see it, if whether you're this guy or this guy, and you're going to be like, yeah, well, he's I mean, fucking with bro, it. Because like, like, look at the look at the pro sports. Like, look at the Lakers. They'll have motherfuckers. They'll have rappers that come and they'll show love to them. And be like, oh, this dude came to the Lakers game. But they're gonna throw him in a Lakers uniform and be like, you're a Laker now. Like, you have to have a certain qualification to actually be considered a phase member. Oh, uh, okay. Like, you have to be a creator, bro. Like an actual creator. Otherwise, it just takes away from the definition of what a phase member is. Right. Like you and got then, your mate. You have to make your. In your opinion, then what it is to be phase in a like should be is like to be a content creator. Got to. Not just like a celebrity who like makes some content. Yeah, because then it's just like, what are we doing with them? Unless they're actually committed, like, for example, like, and, and I like them all as people, by the way, the people that we did recruit, I just don't agree with the move as a member, right? It's like, I can, all, I can love you as a human, like, I love my mom, I'm not going to hire his fucking CFO for phase, right? It's like, it's like, just because I love someone or think they're a nice person doesn't mean that they are deserving of the position. I have to be very, like, separate with that. Right. Like, otherwise, you'll just hire people that aren't competent for a very long time because you like who they are. Yes. Right? And you can't have that for a brand as big as phase. No, so I'm just trying to, I, I guess I'm trying to really, like, decipher because like we're talking about from the outside in right what if someone per, like perceives as someone being a part of phase as a member oh yeah, like, yeah definitely there's being like a content creator someone that's gonna like that's what i'm saying if like someone like yachty for example actually showed up to shoots like once a week or twice a week and like helped us on that end that's way more like you know re, like negotiable then i'm like okay that makes sense but yeah. dude <laughs> we've done like one shoot with each of them over like five years like nobody does shit right and i don't blame they have their own lives like kyler murray's in the nfl he's busy doing nfl shit but like, then why do we recruit him? Just for like one collab, one post, one intro, one one like one announcement. That's what they do it for. Snoop Dogg. What have you seen with Snoop Dogg since we've announced him? Yeah, no, I haven't. There you go. What have you seen with Yachty since we announced him? What have you so, seen with Offset since we announced him? So, Nothing. But, but so that's my. my that's that's my, what takes away. That's what gives the, the fan the idea of like, okay, that's another phase member. If there's no match, there's no follow up. These motherfuckers are so they're so stupid that the only way they know how to get interaction is by an announcement. They're like that's the only thing that works. When we, when so, we post an announcement, we get interaction. We have a great day that day. So, then, so they just chase announcement, announcement. But it's, then never, it's just the wording then. What do you mean? It's just the wording that needs to change. Of announcing them as members, you're saying? Yeah, which is like, hey, we're doing a collab with this person. It's just yeah, the wording. It's also <clears throat> about just like the follow-up, actually building a core that's constantly doing things and like then just like meshing them together. Like having that mesh is important, that group effort, right? It's like everyone's kind of solo separate. Like there's no real like, community with FaZe nowadays. Back in the day, the Skype chat was the hottest thing. Like when I joined FaZe, I was so excited just to be in a Skype chat, talk to everybody. That's like what it was. It was actually, we talked to each other. If you think anybody in phase actually talks to each other, you're insane. Nobody talks to each other. There's small clicks. So there's like nuke squad. People were randomly talking, but it's not like that at all. In New York, when we lived together, someone came to kick it with me. They're coming to kick it with all of us. Someone came to kick it with Banks. They're coming to kick it with all of us. Yeah, no, I get it. So, so it's, it's like, different. When Even I, like when you came to like Calabasas for the fight, like we we're all there. Not yeah. everyone, like, but other people like that live yeah. there and other people. Phase but see, also. we're kind of talking about two separate things, right? Like okay. you're, you're thinking of like the, you know, the, the, the renaissance, this is the great era, like the golden era, right? And then it was like this. Uh, what I'm talking to and speaking to is like they're still trying to further this brand. In my perspective, the way I see it, trying to further this brand, I think it's just in the narrative around the announcement. But it's okay. That's why I'm very like in the middle. I understand the business aspect of it. And it's okay to try to grow the brand doing that. But you can't take away from the OG fan base. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, that's I'm saying, what I'm saying. I'm right? not saying take it away. I'm saying. But it does need, when you recruit them. Well, no. So so let's say, that's what I'm saying. If we change the word, I'm not saying make any oh, decisions for But phase. that's why I've been saying this whole time, like ambassador or collaboration purposes. Like, yeah. If yeah. They, why they them as ambassador. Because they like, no, it's way more fucking clout if they say phase member. Because they're all boomers, bro. They don't understand how shit uh, works. That's what I'm saying. It's just like it's some. So that's what I'm saying. It's me. just the wording that is funky to me. Yeah. And funky to you. And the thing that it's like, yo, we just did a, we did this uh, event, or we did this collab, or we did this, you know, collection of whatever with this person because mm -hmm. they fuck with the brand, and it's like, the announcement. It's like the cool we did part. an OTF thing with Dirk, right? And I think that one's fine because it was a collab with Dirk. OTF. We didn't recruit Dirk and make a whole like, oh, phase Dirk or something like that. It was just cool. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. But recruiting him is like, for what? He's not a phase member. Like, why are you trying to paint a phase member that? And then we lose, like, weight on our recruits. Because then people don't care as much anymore. Why someone like Pros gets 2,000 subs when he joins phase? Because we've diluted the idea of what it means to be a phase member. So it I doesn't see. mean as much anymore. Now it's like, subconsciously to the fan, it used to be, they joined phase, auto sub, they're probably lit, I'm about to find out. Now it's like, all right, they joined phase, let me see, let me, he has to prove himself now, then he'll earn my sub and follow. Now you got to earn it. Yeah. Now you don't join phase and make it. You join phase and have to earn it. Do you think some of that it's is insane. just a, do you think some of that is just evolutional of the internet? No, because if somebody joined um Sidemen right now or AMP right now or any of those like groups right now, they would immediately pop. One billion percent. Yeah. If somebody joined AMP or Sidemen right now, they would boom. Because they're still holding on to that like core value. 
So then I guess the question is, do you- Or Nelk. Imagine only doing Nelk right now. Yeah, I mean, Big yeah. Pop. He, yeah, he would pop. Like, look at yeah. Steiny, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. he was, like, wasn't he Steve's, like, assistant? Yeah, he was. And then he ended up becoming, like, he has ma like, millions of followers now and he's on pocket. Like, come on, bro. Like, that's what happens when you, like, stick with a group and you don't, like, imagine if y'all recruited a Nelk member every other week or every two weeks and then they never showed back up. Steiny would, I promise you, have way less, like, everything if that's what y'all did. I'm like, yeah. I don't think you're in. Are you in Nelk? I'm like, I'm like, I'm not like in it, in it yeah, yeah. like, but I'm in it, you know, yeah, yeah, I I, I'm hundred percent the, the podcast. So you're definitely I like, love the fucking podcast, yeah. but like the, all the, I, <clears throat> I filmed content with them for a very long time for like on the, on the kind of come up with mm -hmm. Steve before like he I went and the did gym his, stuff and everything. Yeah. Before he went and did his own channel. So we did a ton of content together. Um, but you know, they film a lot of content obviously without me cause I'm not as into the prank stuff. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not as comfortable doing that kind of shit. Um, but, but overall, yeah, I mean. I make a ton of content with them, but yeah. I wouldn't call myself a Nelk member in a, mm -hmm. in a sense, right? Um, <clears throat> but though, those are my guys for sure. Yeah. So, um, yeah, okay. So it's I'm curious. Then, do you think then just we got to? This is something like the uncomfortable thing to talk about. Is like, is it just because Phase is less popular now? Is what because Phase is less popular? Like, is the reason why a Phase member? Yeah, like some become a Phase member. It's not, be, but Phase is less popular because of things like that. Constant recruiting members. You don't think no it's match. just time? No, we'd be wait. Look at Sidemen, bro. They're the perfect example. Yeah, like yeah. it's not that if you if we kept it up, it would not be that way. But also, like our old CEO kind of got in between us. Also, he like kind of turned us all against each other. He was really weird and crazy. Like I'm saying, full blown manipulate. Like come to me. Banks said this about you. Apex said this about you. But you're this, and then he'd go to Banks and Norton said this about you, and Apex said this about you. Jesus but Christ, he's a monster. He's an absolute monster. That's you guys all, all agree to that unanimously. There's not a single human in phase that would ever say he is anything less than. A monster. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, not a single person. Not a single person. I mean, it kind of like, it, it sucks because things like this, like just, you can't fully avoid, like, I don't want to call it the, the like we talked about earlier about becoming corporate, but because you do want to grow. Can. And I tried one thing to try to like fix it because the only thing that made sense in my head was, okay, we're all unhappy with FaZe. We all individually go to fight this battle. Why do we not build a union and call it a day? You know how easy it be if we built a union? If we all just said we are one, we have one opinion. If y'all fuck with us, it's over. So that's my face dies without it. So it, that's my question to you, like I you tried, four. Why right? do you? Why are you guys I not? I tried. On, so why are they all not on the same page? They were, they were, they definitely were, and that's the thing. We had a meeting with like the the top executive people and the founders, and we agreed on anything the founders say goes. They agreed. They agreed. Said whatever you four decide on goes. What's the first thing I did? Did you put it in writing? It was in a meeting. It wasn't necessarily in a, in a wasn't necessarily in writing, but um, it was in a meeting. And um, the first thing I did after that is I went out and I tried to get like Alex and Rug and like Tico. Alex and Rug, I put $27 million worth of shares added for their shit. Like I really went hard for them. Yeah, Rug, is, Rug, is, Rug has been a massive part the last Come few on, years. Rug's the GOAT. I love Rug. Like massive. Um, he's so massive, he can't even show it to this fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah, he's Fuck a you, Rug, guy. you bastard. He's also in San Diego, bro. Yeah, but I came, I drove down to San Diego twice to film content with him. Oh, really? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> and I told him, he said, yeah, I'll come up to when I come in. And he came to LA to do some other shit and didn't show up still. Damn. No, but probably because he was in for like a day or something like nah, that. Nah, bro. Yeah. I'm not having that yeah. shit. Rug you hear this shit, Rug? Okay. You don't show up, bro. You a bitch. <laughs> anyway, so I don't mean, I, no, honestly, I get it. People are busy, but, you know, I did show up. Hopefully he shows up. Anyways, so, but were there other, other people that you feel like should have been treated differently? Tico. Yeah. Because that's the thing. In the <laughs> beginning, like, certain people thought, like, Tico was, like, upset because he thought he should have had what we had but it's never that tico is very similar to me is like he just wanted to feel the love more and he didn't like what was going on regardless like he's just not and i don't want to speak for him right but yeah just he's had his little things he's just unhappy right yeah. I, again i don't want to speak i don't want to say the things he said but yeah let's talk about you what 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 did you like what did you go through that really got you into doing shit that you probably should like have all been my doing? stuff yeah, I don't, bro. You don't have to be soft about yeah. it. It's like I don't care. I don't care. Nah, but I mean, I'm just. I'm not gonna. I'm be like, yeah. what made you fucking want to kill yourself? You know, I wouldn't care if you said it. Like, yeah, that, what what but, was it? Um, it was a few things. Honestly, phase was a huge part of it. But I don't wanna, like blame him like that. Of course. Um, to be honest, also just people in general. I like have such a strong hate for like certain type of people that are like very like not courteous people. Just very like me 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 head ass. Like they just like care about themselves too much. Don't give a fuck about anybody else. People like, on the internet. Not even, bro, it's, maybe it's mostly people in real life. Really? I like people on the internet way more. Because at least when I see them talk to them, I'm like, it's funny. They're trolling. They're not even being serious. Because every time I've, have you ever talked to a hater? In li in real life? No, no, no. I've never met one in real life. Have you ever met one? Yeah. Talk to one on the internet. Uh, like, have you ever yeah. responded to like a, do yeah, yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. 99% of the they time, say? they're like, oh, I just, I love you, bro. Yes, I just want exactly. to get. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I said that. Because I'm assuming it works like that with you too. Every time. One time. 
a kid held his energy. I'm like, I'm so proud of you, bro. I literally told him, I'm like, I, and I always tell them when they switch, I'm like, bro, I respect you more if you kept talking shit. Don't switch up now. Don't yeah, switch up yeah. now. Keep talking shit. I like it because it's like, at least you're being real about what you're saying. Yeah. I don't want you to switch up and try to be on some fan dick. Like, they, come on, bro. They always switch up. It's, yeah, they always cool. switch up. That's something one oh, kid bro. has. It. One, one kid's like, kid. yeah, I said, fuck you, yeah, bitch. Yeah, one kid. I started, I was like, yeah. I was hyped for him. But, um, yeah. Um, wait, what the fuck? Why do I keep forgetting? I'm keeping it's all good. The, it, the question was, I going to say, just keep it blunt. <laughs> why Why did you uh, Oh, consider? yeah, oh, yeah. So, yeah, people, um, the face shit. And, like, bro, I was just a bitch relationship and stuff. You know what I mean? It was just like a mix of all things. I'm like, I can't do it. So, I just, like, got butthurt and shit. And it was, it was like a snowballing thing, too. And just, like, you know, I was, like, I made three videos a day for three years, bro. So, that was, like, my whole identity was, like, just workhorse, right? And then I stopped because, like, it was adpocalypse time. My money went down crazy. Oh, man. This was, um, this was when, like, they did the whole family-friendly thing. Oh, and... yeah. I uploaded, like, a vape video. And, like, after that, bro, I got cut, what, like, around, like, 70%, I want to say. Bro, I, I'll never bad. forget that time. I remember I uploaded one day to the next. And I was like, so just, like, 60% of people stopped watching my videos from yesterday to today. And yeah. then every day after. But your views went down too? Yes, bro. bro. My views stayed the same. That's the problem. My views stayed the same, but the money went down crazy. No, my views were just, it, I was like, literally, I remember I'd average like three, 300, like three, 400. And then it just went to like 100, 150, 100. Damn. Six. I and was you, like, you never really knew why? Bro, because oh, I swore, I swore a lot. Oh, okay, okay. So it was right when they were like putting in this like overly yeah, yeah, family yeah. friendly stuff. Even now you see what they're doing. Can't swear the first 15 seconds. Straight up now. Yeah. Now they actually said it. Fine, but that, bro, Finally, at least they're saying things yeah, now. Yeah, because it's been that way, bro. Honestly, yeah. like now, but now they're just like super strict on. I notice like ninety nine percent of these fucking videos get like demonetized. Now. Oh yeah. So it is what it and is. Then but, they're not gonna push them shits because then it's like, why would I put something I'm not gonna make money on? Yeah. Like, why yeah. would I recommend a video that's not gonna get me paid? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, they make fifty fifty off, or I think it's actually fifty five off everything. Yeah. YouTube. So offer. it's like, why? Where, it's like I could push this. It's fully monetized versus that. Exactly. And it, it has, sucks. That's why, like, the retention. And like, um, like audience retention and click through rate matter so much, right? Because that just tells you what's a good video. Retention, they're watching the whole thing. Click through rate, they're clicking on it. Good video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Engaging with it. Bro, it's, YouTube's changed so much. It's fucking insane. Um, I guess, but let's go back to, let's go back to what we're talking about. So it, it's, it's got to be deeper than that though. Because like to consider something. Well, I felt like I lost my whole identity and I was smoking a lot. Like before from 2015, 16, 17, I was smoking every day, but only at night. Right, because I was too busy. I had three videos a day to make. I couldn't smoke in the morning and fuck that shit up. So I was like very disciplined on that. I just couldn't fuck that up no matter what. Even sometimes I think back now, I'm like, damn, like I remember how sad I got at certain things. How did I still post three videos that day? Like not give a fuck. It was just discipline to be honest with me back then. I was like, no matter what, gotta post these videos every yeah. single day, no matter what happens. And I can't wait to get back to that person. It's like not give a fuck about anything. I'm in the process of that right now. So you're gonna uh, fully come back and, and run content. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I wanna get back into that. Because how old are you? Too. 26. You're still yeah. yeah he's so young dude <laughs> yeah it's, it's honestly like with youtube too it's like bro even like like big mike and you like 40 some like <laughs> yeah like, i love that yo how yo google how old mike is i think mike's like 38 or something yeah, that's like what I'm saying, he's 40 like he on his boomer shit and he uploading people too. like i like people it. love talking shit though I know. even to me they're like start a family you fucking loser <laughs> bro i'm 33 i want a family listen i want a family. I, I heard what you it's, said on that one podcast it's fucking it's just hard like bro yeah. i'm not gonna lie man it's just Mike Malak, 38. 38, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, so it's, it's uh, hard to just, uh, for me, I've always had such a hard time, not commitment, but like commitment because of the fear of loss and the fear of rejection, the fear of, of like not stacking up or being good enough. And like, because of all the shit that I've dealt with in my life and I've, my father took his life when I was young. So dealing with, it's like someone taking oh, themselves yeah, so out of my life. That's why you're sorry. And then I apologize then for saying like, I don't give a fuck about it. Cause I'm sure you have a personal relatability. No, no, it's I, Yeah, it is fine. Um, so yeah, my relationship to, to that has always kind of made it hard for me to like fully commit to another person in that sense of love. Right. Cause you're, I'm always afraid that, Oh, someone's going to, they're going to, they're going to go away from me. They're going to take it away from me. They're going to leave me that, you know, I'm going to be alone. So it's no, hard that's to, a real fear too. That's like why a lot of me wanted to stay alone for a long time. You know what I mean? I'm in a relationship now, but like there was a time where I wanted to be alone forever because I'm like, because of that, to be honest. So I feel you. Like some, like as if like someone would fucking, Bro, no matter what I you just, did. Yo, I had three long relationships and each one of them, I spent a crazy amount of money, money on them, but time and money on those women. And then it was just over. I'm like, damn, I just like felt like I lost all that and they're gone. It's like for, like for nothing. I'm like, why did I even do that? Yeah. So like, I don't know. I don't want to put all this effort and resource into somebody and then it's like kind of it and you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, <clears throat> for me, it was never about money. It was just purely that like, yo, I don't want to experience loss like yeah. the way I felt it. Cause I was so 
I, I remember when I was younger, I was so like, why me, why me? And I developed that that habit thought around like, oh, I don't ever want to feel like this. So I would just avoid, like if something was getting too good, I would push it away. I'd be like, it's self-sabotage like, a little bit. Yeah. Ter- I'm, well, I'm like horrible. that too a lot. I horrible. Like, I so anyways, I, let's get back to you though. So as far as like the suicide, like to, you were genuinely contemplating this. I tried over a hundred times, gang. Yeah. But you, but how do you try I, over a hundred times? I don't know. You try to take 200 Percocets and see what happens. No, that's insane. <laughs> you know what? I was trying. I was like, try. I've tried so many times. But how could times. you not have OD'd on that many? I don't fucking know. Bro, for a long time, I thought that shit was a myth. Because what I say sounds fake. What I say sounds like he's just saying 100, but he means five. That's why after I got hurt, six months, nobody came and saw me. And I don't blame them. Because I don't think you understand how much of a school threat I was when I was going crazy. And I don't actually mean a school threat. I'm just using that as like a, a word. It's just like a cod thing. But I just mean like a psychopath I was. Like for real. Like I threatened to shoot a cop, bro. You what? I, I threatened to shoot a cop, bro. Like to his face. And like I ended up getting a lot of trouble for that. But like you can't do things like that. <laughs> you can't. So what? I was what, going. What, what? It's the Xanax. It's specifically the Xanax. So in Canada, the day, when I was trying to do that before, I would buy hella Xanax and Percocets to try to OD. But the Xanax were fake in Canada. So I was used to taking like 100 fake Xanaxes. 100 fake bars. I was used to doing that. So when I came to America and I did it with real pills, that shit, bro, you don't wake up from taking. With Xanax here, I was only doing like 50, but every day. Like 50 Xanax, 2 milligrams a day. What? That, yeah, I know, I know. But to, to try to OD with like Percocets too. Percocets are more expensive. I was taking like Bro, I don't understand 30. how you're alive. That doesn't even I don't fucking make either, sense. I don't either, bro. My liver completely failed and I have like CRPS. I'm all fucked up, but I don't know. I don't know. I genuinely Do you still don't have know. liver issues? Liver, no. I think my liver is good now. But I still have like CRPS, complex regional pain syndrome, some weird shit. But um, yeah, like it's, Bro. I know it sounds, that's what I'm saying. I understand it sounds like fake, but it's, I don't know what else to say. That's insane. It's like the man. day that I OD'd before this happened, like the last time I like really did, they tried to OD, 100 Percocet 30s. So, and that shit costs like four bands for those 100 pills. 100 of those, 100 Xanax, two milligrams, 30 Adderall 30s, and as much lean as I was drinking. All in one sitting. In so a single you- sitting. So, hold on. so what's your so, thought? You're doing all this shit. You have I get it, but people shit. are not going to believe. People are going to think it's cat, but I swear my mother's it life is true. It sounds fucking insane. On my mother's life, it's 100% true. And again, people will not believe it, but it is what it is. Like, so it sounds crazy, but. So you're sitting there and you're like, before you're. I'm just trying to die. I don't like drugs like that, to be honest. You're just, okay. You're, <laughs> so you're just like, I'm going to get as much as I can. You're sitting there and you're like, I'm going to do this. Yeah. What I mean, bro, but I've been doing it. I was doing it for so long at that point. I didn't care. Like, that, and this is one of the worst things about suicide and like the like thinking that you want to kill yourself is that. You really stop planning for your future. You really stop like, like all the optimistic feelings that you could gain as a human is gone. You don't think about those things anymore. That's why even till this day, like I look, you told myself, I'm like, you either do it or you never think about it again. I'm like one or the other, no fucking mix, like no in between. Cause the in between is low-key the worst part. Like for myself, I would never advise someone else to like go do it. I always say like, don't fucking think about it. But for me, I was saying to myself, like either fucking do it or don't want to think about it. And I was like, I'm just not going to do it. I don't want to do it. Cause my mom thinks like that. I've put her through so much. Right. So I'm just not going to do it. So I can't even remotely ever even say as a joke, like. I want to off myself or none like that because what it does to your brain, just like it eliminates like your, the way you think of a future, bro. And it's so bad. I hate the way that it made me like give up on my future for so long. That's like why I haven't like necessarily came back the way I should have over the last few years. Cause I've just been thinking, what's the point? I'm going to be dead soon. Why would I pay my taxes? I'm going to die soon type shit. Yeah. So you all right, let's go back to this, this moment, like the, this specific one with all this shit, you're, you're before you start taking it, you're just thinking like nothing matters. Yeah. I mean, because I thought about it in a sense that I, I realized that everything was like fake and I thought nothing mattered and people are fucking shit and this, that. But like you get, you know, you get like caught up in all that type of thinking. It's just not true. One, it's just not true. Sometimes you feel but you're like not, it is so you're based wor- on your experience. You're not afraid of death? Hell no. No. I mean, I. I am. Okay. I don't know why. I mean, so even probably- I could be having the best day of my life. Things are going great. I still just don't care for some reason because I genuinely believe whatever is meant to happen will happen. So if I'm someone, you know. Trying to end my life, they can end my life. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> For some, I just I don't know. I, I guess I don't know why I have such a built up fear around it because of the unknown. Like just the it's unknown. a black screen. I don't know, what to say, but it's gonna be a black screen. Turn off your TV, same shit. Oh, but it's like yeah, black screen that you're not aware of. That's why I have this fear yeah, around. Yeah, but it's just and everyone's bro. gonna be like, yo, you gotta find God, bro. That's what they're gonna tell you to say to me. They yeah. always say that, and it's not. And I didn't struggle. I struggle a lot with that. Like that, the idea of of. Uh, what's what's next i do though i do though believe there has to be something I, I don't know it's not i don't think it's the same way we experience this as we're experiencing it but i do think and i do know that there is a fact that all energy is transferred 
Absolutely. Right? So there's some that's the movement. One thing that's very real. There's something that's a fact. Yeah. Science agrees. Everyone agrees with that. It's a, there's some transfer. I just, obviously, it's not like me as a human transferring around because me as a human is gone, right? So there's some sort of transfer of something else. And I don't know what that is or feel like. And I, it's like no one, I've always struggled with it because, you know, no one's died and came back and was like, yo, bro, I've been dead for a year. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> yeah. You know? So I've really struggled with it. Um, I don't really want to get into that conversation too much, but. I'm just really interested in in the thoughts that led up to this. And so you've tried multiple times. No. Yeah. But so in my mind is like, if you really wanted to, <clears throat> just because I've really seen suicide, like my dad hung himself. Yeah. You, you don't try. You just do it or you don't. Yeah. You, yeah. Know, you either step in, you're not. So was, was there a part of you that obviously you didn't really want to do it? Honestly? I was just a pussy and wanted to do it the most chill way possible. <clears throat> so I thought, the, the I thought that, thing. yeah, I thought I was like, all right, that's chill. Let's fucking take out all this shit and go to bed and not wake up. Well, cool. Obviously, you like seize out and all that little bullshit, but that's fine. I can handle that. But that, I so, just didn't want to like, bro, this was my biggest fear was like shooting myself and me living through that. Because I genuinely believed I would live through that. No matter if <laughs> 45, a deagle don't matter. Uh, I felt like I was going to shoot myself in the head and live. Uh, I believed that in my heart. I believed it. So I'm like, I can't do it because I'll live. So I had like no options other than that. And I was like, ah, that one's the chillest one. If I don't die, I just wake up. It's fine. I didn't really think about the problems that could come with it. I didn't know something like this could happen. Yeah. You know? Well, so what, what, I, this might be a weird question to ask, but like taking all that stuff in one sitting, like what's, what is the high like? I don't how, remember. You're just, I don't you're just out. No. You're just out like no, 30 so, minutes. But that's the issue is so from 2020, April to mm, June, July, July, July 4th, actually, I don't remember nothing. I blacked out for over three months, bro. So what? You you must have been just waking up, every, bro. That's what I'm and saying. Then taking that, pills, that idiot. Every day he was waking up and just popping his hands every single day. And by that idiot, I mean myself. It's just yeah, like, of course. In a way, when I watch like those IG lives and shit, I'm like, bro, that's not me. Like I don't talk like myself. I don't think like myself. Everything I'm saying is just not me. It's not what I would say or even think. Or everything's chalk. So I genuinely feel like someone, not someone, but the, the way it looks and feels for me, it's like someone else was in my body doing everything because it's just not me. But it obviously was me. It's just like that different state. Xanax makes you a psycho. Is all I'm gonna say. Yeah, an absolute psycho. Not if you take it as prescribed, obviously, but yeah. anything above that, you're an absolute psycho. And it's yeah. easy to abuse. Tolerance builds fast. Bad idea. Yeah, oh, every it's time I get idea. it because I get it from I like slight anxiety on planes, and I'll take it. and I take long flights, but that's I only take right. like once. Like that's why I actually originally started it. taking it. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> I was always I know about it, so I, I'm like preemptively like oh, I know this is. I'm staying yeah, but away I, from I never like took it casually like that, right? Like I never took it like on a daily, like just to go chill or do something. I would only yeah. take it like flights. Or off myself. No one between. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> I just hope people understand, like, this shit is serious. Like, take these things. Like, these opioids shit is, like, a very serious. Well, those are benzos. benzos those are benzos. Benzodiazepines. Okay. Yeah, they're, like, anxiety medication. Opioids are painkillers. So, like. So, it's, like, in. Any Norcos. Form, all of those. Yeah. Nor Norcos. Even lean. Like, the codeine has opioid in it. Heroin's an opioid. But yeah. it's just a different strength of it, right? So, that's when people say, like, lean's liquid heroin. It's, like technically but not like yeah it's not the same thing it's not like so have you done other drugs have you ever done like mushrooms or anything like that I, mushrooms actually what loki led to all that shit because oh I, fuck no but not in that because i use it incorrectly right i love mushrooms i think they're amazing but you can't take them too often because it's good to go to that like you know different type of thinking and heightened you know yeah it, it's good to feel that way right but you can't do it too often you have to do go there Take what you can from it, then go back to reality and apply those lessons from there yeah. to reality. You can't yeah. live in there or do that shit too often. Otherwise, you're it kind of distorts your reality. You don't really know what's real, what's what. Yeah. If you do it too much. So I was microdosing, but my microdose was three grams. Every oh, that's not a micro. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but I thought, it was. Every day. I thought it was. So I was doing Yo. like three grams a day for like two months. And I was doing, Holy fuck, dude. Dude, it was chill though. I was uploading every single day <laughs> and I felt good. I was like, wow, like I feel back like myself, but then I got shroom poisoning. Shroom poisoning. Yeah. It was the weirdest, most disgusting headache of all time. And like, I was just sick in my body. Then I got restless leg syndrome from it. This just like led to so many problems. And then it threw me off like YouTube again. And then I got so, I don't know, I guess because I was also just like fried. I was like, I'm so mad that like, as soon as I get back on my shit, I get sick and everything gets thrown off and I'm sick for this long. Da, da, da. So then I would just, I just one night, bro, literally one night in April, I remember I was like, I'm off myself tonight. And I took like all those Xanax, don't remember anything for three more months. And I guess I just did it every single day every so, single day i got a question I, obviously like nothing's nothing's wrong with you right you've gone through a lot of stuff you've obviously experienced a lot of stuff i'm curious like where does it all come from like how do you think you got to this point i used as to a see human? a family member of mine always try to kill themselves with pills when i was a kid so i feel like that's where my mind association came from pills off myself because i even tried when i was 14 
But why did you try when you were 14? I don't know. I was butthurt, bro. I was just sad. I don't know. I like have a lot of this like built up depression in my life. I just had a shitty, really shitty childhood. You know what I mean? So like it's just always been butthurt. What was the worst part of your childhood? This, um, honestly, like just my dad left me when I was like 10 years old. Right. And, um, I didn't really care about that. I don't care about that too much. But at the time when I was a kid, my mom wasn't who she is today. You know, my sister isn't who she is today. I didn't have great relationships with them when I was younger. And um, I just felt very like alone, very misunderstood by them. I didn't. I, I used to my original Twitter, like the same account I have now. All my tweets are like 2010, 11 to like 13 is me straight talking shit about my mom and like stepdad and shit and sister. I have a question based on that. Straight up, I used to like. I have a question about this because you're young, and so do you think that like your thoughts of suicide were related to the, the internet? Meaning, like you had you're on Twitter, you you're able to go and look at things. Because I'm so curious. I just feel like. The world, let's say, you know, 20 years ago, people probably thought of suicide. I don't know. I can't say this. I don't know the numbers, if it's true or not. Less because there was less stuff to look at, like that was outside of your own life. Yeah, outside of the mind, right? So it's like people also always compare themselves now to everybody that's on social media. That's why Instagram, some people get played by that every day. They look at someone's post. They think they're living an amazing life, not yeah. struggling. That's the worst is what these social medias have like put into people's minds that no one else is struggling. Yeah. Dude, we're all going through shit. Yeah. Every single fucking one of us. Mark Cuban, his billionaire ass, I promise you he's going through shit. Everyone. Everybody I mean, it's, it's is, a, bro. But people like to think like, wow, his life's perfect and I'm the only one struggling. Bro, what? Yeah. Like, that's not reality. We're all going through shit and everyone has had to learn to be a little bit more understanding with yeah. that. So I'm trying to get to understand. So like, do you think that, because at 14 years old, to consider that, like you have to be, there has to be some also, sort of. Also, I broke up after that. I just remembered. I also got into like my first break. I was in a girl. I was with a girl from like from when I was eleven to fourteen. Yeah, but you're fourteen. It's like, dude, who the fuck? I lost my virginity. Here. I thought I was never gonna have sex again. It, I thought it, I was, was never gonna have sex again, bro. It's, bro, you're fourteen. Like there no, has I to be. No, I thought it was over. No, there has to be some outside influence where you think like, oh, suicide is a thing I could do, because well, someone again, else I made saw you. it my whole life as a kid, and I saw like, oh, bad situation, pills, cool. So you grew That's up. That's the way it. I like thought. Like when things got really bad, you pill it out. Like when I was a kid, I didn't know. I like. You know, I'm impressed with yeah. a little baby. Like, I don't fucking know. Like, when I was a kid, obviously, like, and it just, like, was a part of me. So whenever I would, like, go through extreme moments of, like, depression or sadness, that's what I would resort to. Obviously, now where I'm at today in life would never, right? Yeah. But it's, like. So then how would, what would you tell a kid or a person who's, like, maybe locked up in some sort of, like, mental turmoil about their life and where they're at? Like, because this is the thing that I always, I like, I had a conversation with someone last night about, like, life and relationships and all this stuff. And I, and I. I, I realize everyone gets to the same point where like there's this distortion between what they want and let's say for example in a relationship what someone else wants and then someone else like learning everything uniquely to their life at one point and then having a perspective on how things should or shouldn't be in a relationship let's say for example and then the other person doing the same exact thing and then them not being able to come to some sort of terms or agreement or understanding so that they can make a thing work. Yeah. So my point is like to the person who has like built up so much around an idea of something, how something should be, or sh like I, like I specifically, uh, I, I should have a family like this. I should have a father like this thing that he I says saw. You should. It, so that's what I'm saying. That exactly the point, right? That's the point I'm trying to make. I believed because I saw outside that guy has his dad and his dad treats him like this. Why do I not have this? Why did I get treated like this? Why is my yeah. life like this? Right? This comparison. So my point is, what would you say to a to a person who's like stuck in that thought where they're like, okay, maybe this is the way I want to go because I'm so afraid to uh, continue on the way that I'm continuing on. Uh, what would you say to and that like, person? You're saying continue on in fear of being stuck in that type of lifestyle? Yeah. And like, cause like imagine this, the person you're speaking to is just, we're just speaking to someone who's like, who has actually contemplated suicide, who maybe is right. What would you tell that person to get themselves out of it? Because you're obviously here now a completely different person than you were then. It's just hard, man, because I do talk, I like do talk to people about this all the fucking time because yeah. I went through that, you know, it's obvious that people are going to always be. It's nice good to talk talking. about it though. And I love it to be honest. I love that. That's why I talk about it. So I can help as many people as I can with it because I was at a point in my life where, bro, I would tell my sister, like, it doesn't matter if my life gets perfect or not. I want to kill myself. I want to die. Don't care. I don't care. It's not for me. This life shit's not for me, but it's your perspective, right? It's entirely your perspective. And I don't. Like things like this aren't very, they're not black and white at fucking all. Nothing really is, right? Yeah. There's a few things that are, but like generally things like that aren't. And um, it's kind of just like you need context. It's all like case to case. Everyone's different. And that's like why trying to like turn it all into one big, 
you know, like if you're suicidal, do this. Or, or if you feel suicidal, just do this. It's like not like that. Everyone yeah, has right. their own issues and there's specific reasons and there's a root to why they feel the way they Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Many variables. Even though me and you could have had a very similar come up and same feelings, it's still different. Yeah, because, because all the variables. Yeah. And because the way we learn, you learn, it's different. And exactly. Our like a fucking, our, uh, just our body chemistry and the way we think and all that. Like there's so many variables when it comes to that. So, but the like the the thing behind it is your perspective of it all right it's like your perspective like yes things are hard now but it can get better a lot of people limit the idea that it can get better so they're locked up in the idea of what it is now versus what it could be with the right work and dedication to certain things and also people aren't very accountable i wasn't for a long time right so i would think why are these things happening to me yeah this is important yeah and again life reality the reality of life is again no matter because that's the thing people have lied to themselves and think that other people have a fucking a life where it's a high and a complete high the entire time Fucking impossible. Yeah. Life oh is my this, God. no matter who you are. Fuck yeah. Right? So all you can do is embrace this and prepare for this. Yeah. So that you can thug this out and get back to this. Yeah. And enjoy all these and embrace all these it's, and fucking just be strong <clears throat> for all these and just wait, 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 let it have its turn. Yeah. And learn what you can from it. People are, that's what I'm saying, like in relationship to just social media in general, people are like, because people look at this shit and they go, it's his life's perfect. And then it makes it harder to yeah, realize like Instagram's it. Instagram's the biggest cap. Like, bro, Instagram, social media in general, it's bullshit. Well, it's fine. Use it, but know what it is, right? Of course. It's like the same way, like I watch the news sometimes, but I'm like, what are they trying to tell me? Yeah. Badass. Like, I'm not like believing what they say. I, For I sure. never believed. And then, and then, and then here's the other thing too, what you said, prior, just prior to what you said about being ready, preparing, like enjoying yep. this, preparing for this, being okay with it is the accountability thing. This is one of the biggest things. I, I seem to have this conversation. I, again, I had this last night with someone else in relationship to someone and relationships and how these work. And I'm like, people don't realize how important it is to not go like this. This happened to me. I'm hurt. You, It's your fault. Yeah. They did, they did this, so I did this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When that, So this is the thing people forget. Every single thing that happens to you, but unless I like pulled up, I never met you and I randomly like shot you, right? I did that to you. There's just no reason something happened with me. I didn't know and but I just killed you. That's how you think. Like, I don't, why was I here? Okay, I get so it, that's I get what it, I'm but saying. it's like, I but that's where no I'm kind of, me not to be here, but it technically is. But so that's where I'm going with this, this thing, right? So there, there's complete, there can be complete random circumstances, but 99.9% .9 of the time you find yourself in relationships because you put yourself there and mm -hmm. you didn't put yourself there because you want to be treated badly or you didn't put yourself in a situation because you want. Your intentions weren't for that. Yeah, yeah. Most, people don't, most people don't go into things being like, I'm going to fuck this shit up and hurt everyone around yeah. me, right? But I, this is the thing that's really important for people to understand. You are a, circ, you're like a, you're a, you're a product of your circumstances based on your actions. Like Now, someone can do something to you, but it is still important for you to understand that just because someone did something to you, there's something else there that like you allow yourself to be in that position to, to, for it to happen, right? There's some way you got there that gets you further in that, in that like relationship or situation that is allowing for these things. Not that you're like willingly going like, I want these bad things to happen to me, but it's really important for people to understand that like, for example, if I wanted to be able to have a, a great relationship uh, with someone, right? I have to be able to have a great relationship with myself first. Right, a billion percent. And, you remember and, what Will Smith said about like him and Jada back in the day? Not now. I don't like now that whole thing's chalked. But before all that, yeah, happened, it was funny. It's funny. It's chalked. <laughs> whole, all chalked. But he said like I like Jada. Her responsibility isn't to make me happy. I have to make myself happy. She has to make herself happy. Then we have to come together and share that happiness. Yeah, I agree. One billion. Yeah, so that's what it is, man. You I can't think... be reliant on like your significant other to make you happy. That's that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, bro. Absolutely. Well, and that's the thing. Like a lot of people, when things happen, they go, it's because of you this happened. Or when he did this or when she did this, it's that person did it to me. Not like, yo, how did I find myself here? And what what did, what am I allowing in my life to, to happen? Yeah, motherfuckers like blaming everything. That's yeah, so that's in, the like, thing. Mercury retrograde and shit. They think that could affect something because they want to just blame something. It's so easy just to go outward. And I just think if, if more people learn to like take accountability for like where they're at and how they got there. Like whether or not every single thing is your fault or not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, but you are you. Yeah. You need to accept that that your circumstances, you do have the power to change them. Absolutely. Because if you go, it's that person, he did that to me, she did that to me, you're never giving yourself the power to be like, what do I need? Yeah. What do I want? Exactly. Because you just you're go. Just a helpless little person in the world where everything's happening to you. Exactly. And that was, to be honest, one of my biggest things in 2020 when I got hurt. You know how long, bro, for the first like six months, I was like, why me, why me with this? Because it was really bad, though, to be honest. Like, it hurt so bad. Like, to give you a perspective, like, I was stuck in bed for about nine months to a year. Like, couldn't even. How, how did you not get my... big? God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm so grateful. I'm so fucking grateful. You have no idea. What were you eating? Everything terrible. 
Yeah, it's just genetics, fresh dog. brothers and bread and fucking cinnabons every day, like garbage. Genetics, man, you're lucky. Not I used to be fat, but it's like I used to be like well, two fifteen, then I was like sixty, but I was like I was chubby though. I was like really chubby. Like I definitely every time I sit fat or just like kind of yeah, yeah, just over, like thicker. slightly overweight. But then when I lost weight, everyone used to call me fat. It was weird. Like nobody called me fat when I was fat, but then when I lost weight, everyone was like, "Damn, you were fat." Because I dropped sixty pounds and like. Not that long, and I got too skinny and shit. I, got like, I went to 159, bro, which is really bad for my height, right? Like, yeah, I gotta be at least like 190. At yeah, least you're 20. tall. I'm 6'3, so yeah. it's like at least 185, 190. That's, <laughs> yeah, but so for the first six months, just to give you an example, like, of course, my man that showers every day cares about hygiene. I didn't shower for six months. I couldn't, oh, I couldn't leave my bed. Bro. I, I know, but I couldn't leave my bed, dog. Like, it, trust me, I felt disgusting. Could not leave my bed. But you had Whenever, this- you had to clean yourself at some point. Six well, months. Well, you well, I mean, like yourself. in a shower. Of course, my mom would bring me shit. I'd fucking just, you know, in bed. I take bed showers, but like I didn't get to be in a shower Oof. for six months. God. Whenever I had to go to the hospital or anything, please guess how I Ubered there. Not with an Uber. I had to call a private ambulance every fucking time. It's like three grand. I know. That's why I lost <laughs> a shit ton of money in 2020. Because like, even when I did like ketamine infusions. Each told, I'm talking about. So people listening. Each time you call an ambulance, depending on what state you're in, it could be about three grand yeah, to take a, yeah. you somewhere. So I would, it would take six hours to wait for the thing too, because they're always like out. So there's one time I was in Cedar Sinai, I had to wait six hours there after they dismissed me for the ambulance to come and pick me up, because I couldn't sit. I couldn't even sit in an Uber. I had to always be like this, and I all sorry my bad. And all day I'd be like rocking back and forth and like grabbing my dick low key because the nerves were so bad. So like just to like what did give it feel some, like? So it felt like like even like right now my leg. The only way I know how to describe it, and it's gonna sound kind of fucked up, but like you know who Winnie Harlow is. Yeah, the, the multicolored. Yeah, so yeah. it's like the same thing in terms of feeling. So it's like I can feel perfectly right here, but then not here. Oh, fuck. And then like sometimes spots. Sometimes it'll be itchy in my My foot is fully numb. Sometimes it'll be itchy right there, and I'll have to find the spot right here to scratch it. What the fuck? It's bro- I'm broken. I'm a glitch. I'm fully so it's, glitched. So it's like nerve shit. Hell yeah. But in the first year, it was so bad. Like a blanket would feel like, bro, you just dropped a fucking 300 pound weight on my foot. A blanket. Yeah. So imagine hitting it. Like it used, bro. Like now I can like, you know. Wait, so your your nerves are just shot. Yeah. That's funny. But it's like what's annoying is they're not dead. I wish they were dead, but they're not dead. They're like fighting for their life. But if, so but if they were dead, your fucking leg would just be like a noodle. No, no, because like, I mean, actually, I don't know. Yeah, like, for sure. If you had no nerves, your shit would just be like. But like, you have a fucking noodle has like leg. a nerve. His like arm, you know what Tav is, right? Obviously. Yeah. Like his arm is like fucked up here because he got in a car accident, but he like can still use his hand and everything. He just doesn't feel it. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know. I, feel I like don't know either. Dude. I feel like you'd be dragging your shit, like running in. Maybe, shit. maybe, but it feels I mean, maybe like, I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, but, it feels, but my foot is fully like numbed out. Like I don't have feeling in it, and it's, I still use it. Do you do anything weird with it when it's numb? You're like, do you like? Like what? But it's no, it hurts. All know. I feel is pain. It's numb for all sensation except for pain, and it constantly feels like it's like bubbly and like hurting, and, like the pain's moving. And, Bro, like, what the fuck? How do you how do you relax? Then? No. But how do That's you why sleep? I was like, well, I take gabapentin and Lyrica every single day now, and that helps. They're like nerve medication pills. And apparently, my fuckers get high off Lyrica, which is crazy. I don't know how, but whatever. Um, yeah, so that helps like the, with the uncomfort feeling all day. Like It doesn't hurt as much anymore. It's just uncomfortable all the time. So you got this because of the, the abuse of all the shit? No, I did it because of the one thing I did, the, the final OD. The 100 Xanax, the 100 Perks, the 3030s, and the lean. That, well, the, I don't blame the lean. I'm going to take it back. I love you. But like the other three, I blame the other three for sure. And you're, so your body was like, fuck you. Yeah. You're going to deal with that. That sucks. Bitch. So that's the one drug I still like, kind of like is like lean, but I'm never like, I would never actually what have What do you it like on. about that? Tastes fucking amazing. Just a taste? I mean, Absolutely. I don't like, I don't even get high off it. That's the thing. But people will abuse it. That's why you can't say things like that because people will end up wanting it and abusing it. Also, it's crazy expensive right now. I'm not buying all that shit, but I don't you know. You should but never do it, honestly. I won't. But it's terrible, man. Is it though? Yeah, it brings, I, mean, I get the, it. It's, it's the it's the stigma, and I get it. I get it. But it's, it's not like, even a stigma. In it's my just opinion, like, if you sip lean twice a year versus drinking alcohol once a week, fair, I think fair. I think that yeah. yeah. But, but, but but if I drank if I had a Modelo right now, you'll be like, hey, enjoy that. Nah, but that's the that's thing. That's the reality, so, though. It's like if you drink alcohol, people like celebrate. Like, oh, that's a nice drink. But even if you smoke weed or you do anything else, it's like, oh, druggy, dude. And like, I mean, what do you think, motherfuckers? They, do you think they smoke weed and beat their kids and do all that crazy shit, or they get drunk and beat their kids and do all that yeah, crazy yeah. shit? There's just different levels, though. Like I know. I can have a drink, chill, have one drink, two drink, be great. Yeah. But then there's a difference between like someone who's like 10 fucking drinks, 20 drinks, right? They're but it's different so, it's, there's no law against it. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Right? There's no law. That's thing we got to start teaching alcohol, people. But you can't drink I, listen, beyond I'm, this I'm, much. <clears throat> I'm, not a, I'm not like, drugs are terrible guy. Okay. I think people need to learn how to understand that like moderation For is most the most people, important thing. It's terrible because they don't know how to use it. If I, if someone like me who feels like I know how to use it, wasn't able to use it the right way. 
I just feel like everybody isn't. Like most people don't know how to use drugs. Of course, there are people that can. They can handle. They'll use it the right way. But most people won't. And that's the issue. And that's why they would rather make it sound worse than it really is. Even though it does get very, very bad. But after like extreme abuse, because of shit like that. So it's yeah. just, like, just make it vilify it off rip. Only tell them. Only take it. It's medicine when a doctor tells you to take it. And it's drugs when you do it on your own. You go rogue and take them. But when your doctor gives it to you, it's medicine. And it's prescribed and it's chill. Like if I got if I, if I got a doctor prescribe me fucking like lean once every month you'd be like well you're just doing as prescribed but if i bought it off the street oh my god you're doing drugs well it's hilarious yeah like, but it's also like if you bought off the street how much more are you doing than when you would be what's prescribed like that's the whole thing right i get it I get they go it. like Absolutely. you could do this safely not that i'm saying like there's obviously some drugs that like they really teeter that line of being safe like like a lot of these fucking opioids and like painkillers is like Oh, really the withdrawals are so bad too. Insane. Dude, it's terrible. Um, every so, time I get prescribed that shit, like anytime, like if I do like mouth work or anything, mm -hmm. I just stop. I, I don't even take it. I'll yeah. just be like, I don't even want to take this because I know. But I do want to say, by the way, like I would never like use it like multiple times. Like even like personal, I would never like actually take it and then take it again tomorrow on the day after. I see how bad that is. Like even the times that I have sipped since I've been sober, I bought a very, like a daily amount, like for the for the session, nothing past that. Like I wouldn't actually like buy a full bottle. Wait, wait, did you just it. say since I've been sober and then the like, amount so, okay, I take so, is still drugs? So, so I did first year <laughs> that I was hurt, I did nothing. Okay. But then after that, I was like, I want to try. I just want to see like how I feel. About I think it. it's slippery slope. And be honest with you, man. I don't care to be honest because I, okay, tell, my, I tell my mom everything that I do. I don't fair. do a drug without telling my mom just so she's fully aware. And like, you're like, mom, I'm about to sip this right now. Straight up. Okay. Straight up. I tell her everything. So she's aware. What does she and, say? Like, she's like, you sure? She knows, she knows me. She knows okay. that I, I'm so fucking traumatized by what happens and I'm so like, I never want to lose my mental clarity, no matter what. I can't, I, because of what happened to me. Like, bro, I lost three months of my life where I don't even know what I did, what I said, everything. I can never have that happen to me again. I'm so traumatized by that. It's I mean, bro, fuck that. You were talking about killing yourself. Ah, fuck three, fuck three months it's, of your it's life. It's the other bullshit. It's, no, 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 fuck that shit. Killing, what do you mean? Killing yourself three months? Okay, it's, but if I kill, kill myself, yourself forever. who do I harm? I hard, obviously, I harm my mom and stuff like that. But like what I was doing on those drugs without my mind, I was doing way worse to other people. Because I don't care what I do to myself. I care about what I do to other people. And those drugs are making me do bad things to other people. So that's what I care about, right? I don't want to harm other people. I don't care about harming myself. So to me, it's like I will never lose control again. I can't. I can't afford that. I can't. That's like... I'm traumatized yet. So lean when I would, whenever I would sip it or even like, a, I don't lose my mind like that. Xanax I do. So that's why Xanax will never even try again. We'll never do it again. Nothing. Don't want no parts of it. None. Because benzos are terrible. But then opioids, it gives you like a fake high. Sometimes you actually feel better and more optimistic, but I don't rate it anyways because it, it's very addicting. Withdrawals are terrible. What it ends up turning your life into is just garbage. So that's what I'm saying. But again, I know it's like, that's, but I have this problem to where I know it's not the smart thing to say publicly. I'm just too real for my own good. I can't help but just talk about everything. Right? I mean, it's fine. It's not yeah. it's, what you're saying is not. I only feel like a liar, bro. So yeah, like, what you're saying is not crazy at all. I get yeah, it. Yeah, but I'm saying that's why I would never have it on me. So if I were to simply, and like I told you, I did after, and I was actually so grateful that I did lean and perks after, because when I took a Percocet after I was sober for a long time, I realized, oh wow, it actually heightens your emotions way more than I realized, like way more than I fucking realized. Because I was with this one girl that was giving me them, and I like I told her I loved her, but I did not love her, but I told her I did, and I just realized how it made this level of emotion be this. So in 2020, I was going through a lot of bad shit. Let's say it was a nine out of 10 in terms of how bad it was. Percocets made it a 15, 20 out of 10. Yeah, it you know was all I mean? exaggerated. Like, it, makes some, like, it makes good things better and it makes bad things way worse. Yeah. And you can't control that, right? So I feel like that's how I feel time, about marijuana. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's an enhancer. I see uh, marijuana as like a baby psychedelic, right? Yeah, so that's like it. also why it's low-key a bad thing if you like smoke when things are wrong because you're training your brain to... Smoke yeah. whenever thing when shit hits the fan, it's like kind of dealing with it. Yeah, but I don't know because it always pulls up for me. My, if I get too high, my anxiety, or if I'm just anxious and I smoke, I'm like, oh shit! I got. You're having a great day. And you smoke. It's an even better day, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So no, I feel you. So where where do you, where do you go from here, man? Like, what's the plan? What's the plan with Phase, and what's the plan with your content? Um, my content just do me. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be uploading. Like, I have multiple different channels. Kind of like I have three. So on the main channel, I'm gonna be uploading more just like opinions and takes on certain shit. It's like kind of you know like. You know, I do penguins similar, but not like ripping off his style, but it's like yeah. reacting to this like viral shit that has like, I would have a good opinion on type shit. Yeah. But my vlog channel, I just want to really talk to people, share my experiences, share opinions on certain thought processes or the way that, I don't know, just like a lot of different like real shit to try to help people to speak on my experience, shit like that. And then my gaming channel, just like pump out hella gaming shit. Yeah. I got to be an asshole for a second, but I asked you this ahead. question. Um, 
were you using like the phase of shitty to like bring yourself back to life? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Cause was, some people, I, you know, some people the, might say I that. I hear you. And that's like why yeah. I've been telling so many people, like when I'm talking about this behind the scenes, I'm like, I'm like, I don't want people to ever think I'm doing this for those reasons. And people thought like to promote your weed brand. I'm like, that's why I went out of my way to not promote my weed brand while I was doing this. Cause I don't want people to think I'm doing it for the wrong reasons. But imagine you're like, face sucks, buy my marijuana. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. Yo, you would, that would have been terrible. No, but that's why I know I'm not, I've been wanting to get back into content, but I've been wanting to deal with this face situation first because I don't want to start posting videos, act like everything's good while all this fuck shit's happening in the background. So that's like why I didn't want to start until I handled all that. You know what I mean? I and I saying. just got out of a wheelchair six months ago. I was there for two years. So it was a oh, long man. time I was in that bitch and I was like dying, I was in pain. So it was hard for me to make videos when you're in pain all day, right? Yeah. Very hard because like you can't even think. That's also why sometimes like my, because I'm uncomfortable, it takes away from my thinking. I'll be like going off on the thought process and I'll like remember the pain for a second and it'll like throw me off. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's kind of like just hitting the fucking bump while you're driving really fast. Like, yeah, it so throws you off a little. What, bit. what what have you learned? I guess mostly from your, uh, I guess your phase experience, and then what have you learned from this whole like, uh, I guess well, we'll just phase call it. experience. I just got to keep trusting my gut. When I told them all, don't trust this guy. Don't give him this. Don't let him in. I just got to quadruple down on that. My gut does not lie to me. I don't think I've ever had an opinion on someone that didn't age perfectly. Even when I like confused myself and I said like, oh, I guess I was wrong about that person. Nope, give it two more years. The true colors then I end up coming out. I'm always fucking right about people. That is God's gift to me. So I will never in my life let other motherfuckers brainwash me thinking that I'm crazy and I'm wrong. No, because I've let that happen way too many times. Like I knew this motherfucker was trouble. And they said, no, bro, this, trust me. He's like my dad. I love him, bro. You got to trust him. And I end up fooling for the people that I think I do trust. And then, you know, yeah. I don't give a fuck what people tell me anymore. I'm completely trusting myself 10 out of 10 times. Do not care. Yeah. So that's something that, but that's me personally, right? It's because, bro, you know what it is? Like, why would, and I, again, this also want to say back to what you were saying. I still want to cut you off. I don't blame a businessman for doing businessman things. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I knew that. I knew that they were coming in for the money. You think I thought they were coming in because like, oh my God, I love trick shotting in phase, dude. Of course. I can't wait to see all the videos. Dude. We have a fuck. Yeah, we all, we all know that. We all exactly. know. Exactly. Yeah. So why are they falling for it? Because they tell you they care about you because they sit there for five minutes to pretend like they care about your problems. Are you stupid? So I honestly blame my fucking brothers. I yeah. blame most of them for not standing up and for not fucking taking control of this shit and letting this shit happen. Yeah. Betas. Absolute betas. I don't really want to use that word, but they are. They're afraid. They're afraid. How am I willing to give up more than all of y'all with less? It just makes no sense to me. It's like that should have meant more that someone that had way more is giving up his shit and risking his shit for y'all that have less. That's the point. That was the point I was doing all this. Yeah. And it was a, that's what I'm saying. There was multiple different like lanes. Like they owe me a lot of money too. They owe me shit. But I didn't, it wasn't even about that. If they just owed me money and everything else was fine, I wouldn't have said nothing. Yeah. If everyone else said, I would not have said nothing. Because yeah. I would have handled that a different way. You know what I mean? I would have just, you know. But yeah. I would have handled that a different way. But Yeah, man. I mean, I, the trust in your gut thing is huge. I think, I think we always really know. I think most people do really know what it is. Absolutely. And they just go, ah, uh, but they look for the good. Because I've done that so many times. It's backfired. It's hurt me so many times. Yeah. And it's me. Ultimately, like I did it to myself, like we were talking earlier. That's like, I blame myself for it. I do. Yeah. Like, I take full accountability for trusting these people for letting this happen. In 2018, 19, I realized shit was even worse. And it kind of broke me down into like pushing away rather than facing them every single day and making them so fucking uncomfortable until that they ended up leaving type shit. I let them make me feel so uncomfortable that I left. Yeah. I should have just shut the fuck up and just pushed every single day. You know what I mean? But it yeah. felt like it was almost getting to a point where it was out of my control. And the problem is, bro, when you have like a situation where you're 25, 25, 25, 25, it's not necessarily just up to me at that point. It's like if three people get played, the fuck am I going to do? Yeah. Or if two people get played and then they play another one, what the fuck am I going to do? Right? So it's always three to one. Yeah. In certain situations, but trusting people, which ends up backfiring and motherfuckers just don't learn. Yeah. They say, oh, no, the next, the next boomer is going to be nice. Don't worry. Yeah, it's fucking crazy, man. Like, I, that's the thing with the, I don't know if people really realize how crazy business can get because, like, there's people that you can consider, like, family even and will do you dirty. Like, because they'll always just brush it off as business. They're like, oh, it's business. Moral, morals don't matter in business. Yeah. And it's not even, like, a thing to make it matter. Like, people don't care. Like, no, nah, it's business. It's business. Yeah. But to me, it's like if I had a fucking, like, brother who we did and he just businessed my ass, oh, man. Yeah, it's tough. It's yeah. tough. I, I, bro, I've been through so much shit. So much shit. I believe you. One of believe these days, you. I can't wait to actually really talk about it, which I think I will pretty soon. Well, that was me for the last like five years. I swear to God, like the last five, six years. And there's still so much to talk about. But I don't care. I believe that like I was meant to do this. I honestly, a lot of me believes that I didn't die so that I could expose this. Because you know what would have happened if I died, brother? What? I would have thrown my ass on a t shirt and given my mom none of that. And it, you they think would, so? I know so. 
Bro, they would have milked the living shit out of my dad. Fuck. For real, though. The same people that didn't come see me for six months after I got hurt in a wheelchair. Same fucking people. You don't think they would have gave your mom any? I think I would have cut her maybe 2%, 2.5%. Wow. You know. It's like me and Steve. When Steve sold me the drug shirt, dude. <laughs> you know how many shirts they sold? Gave me no money. Holy You're fuck. lying on no, like the I'm Brad t- sells drugs? Every single thing except for like the, there was like the pharmaceuticals ones that was recent. They gave me like 10 and then there was one other one prior, I think. But everyone, when it was like, I love that you're just saying that too. You don't give a fuck. You're like, I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah. I've said it before. I don't care. I've talked to Steve. I've done talk about it on podcasts. Like, but you're probably the same way as me. It's like everything that you'll say on these podcasts, like that, you've said it to their face, obviously, right? Yeah, I don't yeah, that's care. Why I never feel like I'm talking behind anyone's back because I say it to their face every care. single time. And it is what it is. Like the same time, it's like, unless I was like, it's not like I was there and I was like, no, you can't do this. Yeah. Because I could have said, no, don't do this. I want this. Yeah. And I did it. So it's like, I was at the same time, like, I don't give a fuck. It's just true. It's just, you would think that, like, morally, that they'd be like, I got to cut him if I'm using his fucking name. Right? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. But then, but then, you know, you could, they, they could argue, well, you know, we're helping you or we're giving you this in the audience or whatever the fuck. So there's so many different perspectives to everything where but it's like. you have a pre existing audience? Oh, a big one, no? yeah. And also, like, and also, I was a massive part of the content. Yeah. But it is what it is. At the same time, like, again, like we were talking earlier, someone's perspective on a thing could be completely different than mine based on everything yeah, they know. Exactly. And I don't blame or fault them for it. Yep. Like It, it makes sense in their heads. That's what I'm saying. For me, it would have made sense. Exactly. It makes sense in their heads. And, and for me, if I wanted it to be what I wanted it to be, I should have said. You would have pushed for it. You would have been like, is, don't drop that without my. Exactly. And exactly what I should have done. I gifted all. Like, I gave FaZe the money. Oh, like I never took a salary, but I never wrote, we're giving away my salary right now, but I'm owed that later. That's what I should have done. Yes. I should have been like, I'm giving you guys the 300,000 for the like, but I want a million later. Yeah. I should have done shit like that. But I didn't because I'm an idiot. And I was 18. I was like, ah, oh, trust. See? Idiot. So that's so, what you got to learn. Exactly. Yeah. And even same shit. Like, motherfuckers will tell us things in verbal conversation and say, oh, I didn't say that. So we record shit now. Yeah, get it in writing. We record shit now. Yeah. Not even writing. I'm just recording shit and fucking making them look like liars when they say they don't. Like, mm. well, that's, oh, yeah. I'm it's per- illegal, but I don't care. Yeah. It gets up, always gets stuff in emails. Yeah. The emails are good. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, it's, it's a thing where it's like, that's what I'm saying earlier. This all comes back to that, like accountability and self worth. Yeah, you can find yourself in a situation. You can really try your best. Obviously, sometimes you can get, still get duped and taken advantage of. Yeah. But it, the thing about it too is so difficult for people to realize because I, you learn in almost in sections and chunks and then you go, you've already kind of got fucked and then you come back and you're like, oh wait, I, I know that I should have done that now, but I didn't know enough then to say that then. Yeah, exactly. But then it's like, then you go further and then you find yourself in a new situation. You're like, fuck, it's the same thing, but it was disguised differently. And it's just like, you have to be okay with it. And then just like, you just get better, man. Like yeah. you get better at knowing when to be like, oh, wait, wait, I, I see your shit. Exactly. Here's what it has to be. Here's how it's got to be, period. And that's, I mean, that's what I've learned along this whole journey of like just life in general and social media and, and people and interacting and, and just being more like raw. Like this is, hey, this is what's up. This is how I feel. This is how, like, period. I don't want to deal with this. People respect you more for that anyways, right? It's like yeah, just being honest about you. This is exactly how I feel. And you feel better about yourself, too. Just always getting that shit off your chest, not living with it. You know how much shit I have to live with? Like, I wanted to tell people stuff like that, but I just didn't. Because I'm like, I don't want to, like, make them feel a certain way. I don't want the confrontation, whatever. Yeah. But it's the most, you got to, bro. You got to do those things for yourself. Otherwise, years are going to go by and you're going to wish you did. Yeah. And you might just get played or something bad. Like, I don't know. There's just a lot of bad that can come out of it. I'm not telling people how you feel when you feel that way, especially with like business and stuff, you got to. Yeah. Yeah, you man. You got to. Fuck. Otherwise, like it just turns into a lawsuit, you know? Yeah. Time and time. Do you think it's going to go that way? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fucking yeah. Which I don't care. It's whatever. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. I'm not sure. Are they, are they pressing anything towards you? Like, we're like, yo. You well, I mean, it. we got a fucking, our CLO, like our legal, she ended up selling shares behind everyone's back. She's not supposed to. And, you know, we can't argue she did know per certain information about the stock. So maybe she shouldn't have sold. That kind of sounds like insider trading to me. You know what I mean? Like, Fuck. When, just saying, there's a whole article that came out like CLO sells her shares, blah, blah, blah. When we weren't allowed to sell our shares. So it's crazy that she was allowed to sell her shares and we didn't know about it. Right. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy, strange coincidence. Right. And, um, you know, she also knew who wants to sell, how much they want to sell. She knows all that information. So her dumping before that happened sounds pretty sketch, bro. That's all I'm saying. And she's also on the board of uh, B. Riley, which invested and started this back with Faze. So it's also pretty interesting as well. Yeah, that's tough. Crazy amount of coincidences, man. Yeah. Can't believe that, right? Yeah. It's a, wow. It's a crazy world. Good old, good old insider trading there. Good old insider trading. That's so there's sick. that. You know, there's a bunch. It's just. But I see this for what it is. All these execs come in. They don't give a fuck about Faze or this culture or anything. They just want to fucking. Go to these parties, make the make the network off that they cannot phase, take its resources, take the salary, take the shares, be absolutely incompetent, do fucking nothing to bring phase to the top, and then just leave. Take the shares, take the salary, 
former phase in their bio and move on. Yeah. It's disgusting. I absolutely hate it. It's just like what I always envisioned the warehouse to be was all fans. Because, bro, you know how many fucking workers? Like, they go to LinkedIn to find employees. Why do you not just go on our Instagram and say, hey, we're looking for YouTube editors, looking for thumbnail guys. What the fuck? That's where the more common people are going to be. What are we doing going to HBO and getting people for? Yeah. And paying them hundreds of thousand dollars a year instead of just getting fans who also, by the way, be interns for us. So on a business level, it makes more sense because you don't have to pay them as much. Yeah. So a lot of them are young, up and coming, and they consume the content. These execs, as soon as they leave the building, you think that they're looking at anything phase at fucking all? Yeah. So they're not really in touch. Of course yeah. not. So, but that's the thing. Like when I think about it, like they don't also know that because they came from a different world and they're thinking I'm using Why the same. Are they here? No, you're fair. That's fair. <laughs> but they're thinking I'm using the same things that I know here. I'm not saying it's right. I'm yeah. just saying that's their mindset. Exactly. They try to go off what they know, but what yeah. they know doesn't apply for sure at all. Like for HBO sure. and like YouTube are two completely different types of like content that are being made there. Co yeah. Two completely well, different and two types. completely different worlds. And that's why and they think. And it's like I don't. I'm not like the guy that I was for specific from HBO. And Casey's watch this. I think you're an amazing dude. By the way, it's just like. Your skills and what we need for YouTube just don't match. He doesn't work at Phase anymore. He's actually gone. They finally got rid of him. You know what I mean? And I, that sounds like that because I think he's a nice guy. But again, like nice guy doesn't matter when it comes to this shit, right? Yeah. Um, and because they'll come in and what do they know? But they know how to spend. All they know for production is to spend three, four hundred thousand dollars a shoot. So they spent three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand dollars on the Nike shoot that we ended up scrapping because they overpay for fucking everything. They don't understand that we made. Millions and millions of dollars off a fucking camera. Single G7X, dog. That's like, what well, we they, know. They want some reds and all this That's shit. That's what we know. We know that we just have to fucking hold a $500 camera and then make a fucking banger that makes thousands, thousands. Like, they, they spend this to make this. We spent this to make this. It's all sorts of backwards. And it's like, for who? The, whenever they film shit super professionally, it flops. No one cares about it because there's no relatability. Yeah. Even when I tried to use like those like type of cameras, people said, stop. And whenever I make vlog that, people say, stop. Go back to your old camera because it just doesn't feel the same. It's yeah. holding those big cameras and like the nice ass cameras versus like just the nice G7X that just feels like, I don't know. They can yeah. feel you through the, the authenticity camera. authenticity in it. Yeah, it's like, yeah. so they just don't get that. They don't get how to make the fans feel a certain way. They don't understand. They, some of these motherfuckers at the office think that people care about me for my trick shots back in the day. Like you think a dude ever comes up to me in person and says like, bro, your trick shot on Come on, dog. Like no one gives a fuck about that. It's about the way that I made them feel over the years, right? That's what every single human unanimously cares about me for that still cares about me. Because yeah. of that, the way I made them feel, the shit that I taught them, that's what they care about. And that's what I forever want to be because that has the most longevity. How many times have I fucking said that same thing, dude? But it's that's, true. that's true, though. It's absolutely the truth. You think people give a fuck about you specifically for, I mean, there's, I'm sure there are some people that care specifically for the like workouts that you do. <gasps> kind of, not mostly, really. Um, but there has to be at least like yeah, one some, or two, right? some, like, Yeah, be, like, some, some because, fans. but that was because. I'm saying the bulk isn't that. Yeah, no, there, that is a lot of it because it's, it's teaching. So people like a few things, right? They like to be taught something. Yeah. They want to know, oh, this person taught me this. I appreciate that. I got this from them. I think everybody likes tape right now. Yeah. They, or are they teaching or they want like, they want like uh, to be made to laugh or they want to be made to feel like in, motivated or inspired or feel like, wait, yeah. this person is like me. Like, cause I can see some things that this person says that I can relate to. Yeah. The relatability. Exactly. And that's like, what matters so much. That's, they see you as a friend. What do you think about tape, by the way? You just brought that up. Absolutely love them. Yeah. I absolutely Bro, it, I just don't know about all the of course like oh you, you you fucking support a sex trafficker. I don't fuck like I don't know if he did that shit or not, but I also don't think so. Personally. But also yeah. I don't want people to be like, oh yeah, you're yeah. fucking you're believing yeah, all the it's, it, I'm it, obviously still no matter what, no matter how much I like someone, I'm always open to both sides. I'm not an idiot. I'm not a fucking like a Democrat or a fucking Republican where it's just one side or the other. No, like, no. I do not think that way. That entire thinking is wrong. There needs to be an independent party, but they'll never do that for control, obviously. But yeah. That's a whole different story. Yeah. I'm I don't so, think that. I'm not one or the other. Life no, is not no. black and white. Life is gray. I'm not. So either. you have to consider all the variables and people rarely fucking do that. No, they, ne they almost never do that. Yeah. I, even that shit did sound kind of AI-y though. Yeah. That voicemail I, sounded pretty AI. -y. I can't I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I heard that and I was like, is that him? Though? Except when he said low key, when he's like, you really mad I strangled you a little bit. I was like, yeah, that low key sounds exactly <laughs> like how he'd say it. <laughs> I was like, bro, but I don't know. I hope it's not true. I because some of the texts were actually like really bad. I'm like, yeah, that's bad. Like if you actually said I didn't that. see the text stuff. Yeah, I only yeah. saw like that 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 thing. He's just that, throwing the R word in there a lot, saying like he liked that he did that type shit in the text. Oh shit, right? yeah. Obviously that's fucking terrible. But regardless, like I don't know. He 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 does preach good thing for people. Pe preach good things for people. You can't argue that. Yeah. Like, you know how many more people have probably started going to the gym and being more disciplined and taking care of their life yeah. or want to because of him? Yeah. It's like that's a good thing for the world. How can you argue that? But yeah. of course, people get caught up in what he says and not like what he's actually doing for the world. Like, how much do you think the actual like misogynist rate has gone up in the world since Tate? Like, true misogynist, not yeah. like trolls, not people that are just saying as a joke. Because I, I become my girlfriend, my property all the time as a joke. But like, I'm not he's, seriously misogynistic. I just like it's a humor, right? I'm not. She knows not that, and she right. calls me her property as a joke too. So it's like it's just a joke. So, yeah. well, people are really sensitive these days. 
That's the thing. I know. That's what this all comes down to. I it's know. like, I want to be mad about everything. I feel like that comes to entitlement, thinking that your feelings actually do matter. Like our feelings don't matter. Like they do to us, but like in the grand scheme of things, they don't, in my opinion. Yeah. Like and people are wanting, so entitled, bro. Yeah. They yeah. think that we are the fucking best. So that's even why like, I don't know, certain like things, actually I don't want to say because it's like people are going to get so butthurt about it, but <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. yeah certain things are like you know it's just not even worth it bro but no nah, yeah that's a, it's a, but that's that's what's so funny about it and I, I i for some reason i always get into these conversations with a lot of creators is like we've gotten to a point where like the fact that we can't even say certain things is like that's that's a there's a problem there mm -hmm. and so that's the thing like this guy came out and just said all this shit and i think that's why people were like wait i like this even though no one has to agree with everything he says you don't he just started saying shit that everyone was like Oh shit, I've thought about that though too, and someone's actually saying it now. There, I forget what podcast it was. One guy said, um, he was like, I don't like Andrew Tate at all, but what he says is very factual a lot of times. And he just goes over that. And that's like a very fair way to think about things. Like you can still not like somebody, but then agree with things that they've done. Right? You can still be like, oh no, I like this, I like this, but I absolutely kind of hate the overall vibe and like what he preaches and this that. I don't like that he flexes the cars and the money and stuff like that and teaches people that money matters and that's your you know, that's the, the the sign of success and things like that. Because some people genuinely don't really care about the money part of it For to sure. feel successful. Yeah. So to say that you have to have a Bugatti and things like that to be successful, right. I get it. Like, I can see why people don't like that. But for other people, it is motivating. For a lot of other people, it is motivating because a lot of people do want that. A lot of people want the nice car, the nice crib, the women. People, want, most guys want that, yeah. right? So I can understand that, but it doesn't mean like, like, for example, like you see all, I'm sure you see all those shorts of guys going up, like girls saying, like, do you like Andrew Tate? No. Why? He's misogynistic. What has he done misogynistic? I don't know. It's like, you've seen a bunch of those. Yeah. We're right? like, just because I've been They are black it. and white thinkers. Yeah. They will. But even that's how like Democrats are, bro. Like Trump and shit. They hate him for everything he's done, but they'll never give him. Like, I can get saying like, fuck Trump for this, for this, for this. But he did this. I'll never see that. But I'll yeah. never see that. But he did this. And that's just not a fair. Well, recently, it's funny. There's like this. There's remember this whole like they're like, we got to put Trump in jail because he took these documents. Now it's no like, way they're mad that he stole no, fucking no. documents. But but yes. But now That'd now Biden. Mind. Now Biden has documents that they found when he was VP. And they're like, oh, wait, no, no, it's fine. He didn't mean it. But that's what I'm saying. So it's like that's this. Is, this is my thing. Fuck. I hate politics. It's stupid. I hate if anybody's political. I think they're an idiot. Yeah, way. this is my I thing. Think you're an idiot. Fuck politics when it comes to this in this sense. I'm just saying everyone for some reason they do this they treat everyone else as if they're fucking perfect as if they are perfect and it's like yo wow. we're all imperfect and it's like you look at someone you go so glad you said that. all these things he says all oh, right all these things oh he's bad and it's like yo everyone like every single fucking human being is not perfect is fucking imperfect. do you know why i hate politics so much the well, foundation of it is entirely flawed you have to pretend to be perfect you can't tell the tell the people about what you've done wrong. Like I could never do something in politics for how honest I am. It's fucking impossible. They'd pull anything I've ever done and exaggerate and stretch it and make it sound way worse than it is. So the foundation to be a politician is to lie. To lie and yeah. make yourself appear a certain way. Because if people even know that I did this, they'll use that against me and then I won't win. Yeah. So you have to lie. So every politician is a scumbag on every fucking end. They're scumbags. Yeah. And that's why low key, like Dave Chappelle made a great point. I'm like, oh, he is spinning when he said like, I called Trump an honest liar. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like he will do things that's that he'll why, tell you what he And did. that's he'll why like, so many people loved him. And that's also why so many people hated but, him. But because, yeah. and I, I can see why people loved him for that because like, damn, at least a politician being honest with what yeah. he's done. But then everyone else is like, but he did that. Yeah, but the other motherfuckers aren't telling you what they did. And they already, and they, and bro, that's. They're not and I'm not a Trumpy, but like, I'm not like, you know, a part of like, I'm not political at all. Like I don't, yeah. Canadian dog, I'm fucking out of this, out of this fucking debate. I'm Canadian. Yeah. But. I can still see things for what they are. Yeah, yeah, that, and that's it's it. It's just crazy. That's me, the bigger picture. The bigger picture is people expect everyone to be perfect, knowing that they're not. They're themselves exactly. Are not. And so that's what they, frustrates but me. Nobody's understanding about that fact, and nobody well, can say like, "Well, I did this in my life." For example, it's like me trying to judge someone else for something really bad that they've done when I've done really bad things in my life as well. But it's maybe not the same. But I should still have that level of yeah. No one, no one does that. No one's, no one has an annoys the fuck out of me. It, that's why I wanted to off myself for a long time. Oh, like everybody doesn't bro. understand. I want to get out of here. But like, it's not, it's never worth it, man. Because it's like, <laughs> no, no, I know. I can just go be in like Tulum or something and yeah, say fuck everyone. Go right? disappear. Yeah. Do something else, man. No, and that's what I realized. I'm like, bro, why am I living my life like but you know what it was? And you know what changed over the last two years, which I'm so fucking grateful for, is before that, I got my validation from people, unfortunately. Like that's even why I bought like supercars and jewelry and all that kind of stuff, is because I want validation from other people. Eventually it led to me actually liking cars and liking jewelry and actually liking it for what it was. But in the beginning, that's why I'll never wear something Gucci ever again because I know I bought that Gucci. So my fuckers saw me in that Gucci and I think that's the lamest shit ever. I feel I remember seeing you in Gucci. 
please stop. I but swear to God. I, 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 I swear I to God. But I'm saying now, now. I'm saying in 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a long time ago. No, no, I know. Probably 25. I was wearing Gucci. And again, it's like just lame to me, bro. I don't like it. I don't like. Yeah. I like like Balenciaga pieces and like certain designer pieces that you don't see what it is, right? Like you can, it's just a blank. That's why I like, you know, it's just like a blank. You don't really like see what it is. But I hate the flashy shit. I don't like any of that. Yeah. Because it just like, I never like manually thought, oh, I want to buy a car in Gucci so I'm cool. But subconsciously, that's why I did it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I never actually like thought that. I like, I lied to myself like, oh, I like it. But no, I know why I bought it. That's why whenever I see anything Gucci in my closet, I fucking just get so mad. I want nothing to do with it. Yeah. It's annoying to me. But see, this is the thing. Like, and this is another thing that's important. You're growing. You're learning. You're getting yeah. older. You're learning more about life, what's important to you. And that's another thing. People hold everyone to a point. Like, for example, if we talk about mistakes someone makes and they go, that's you forever. Remember yeah. when he did that 10 years ago, though? Fuck that guy. It's like, bro, like, what humans can't learn and, it's and grow. It's harder on our generation a lot because everything we've done is on the internet. Everything. So it's like, think about, like, my stepdad, who's 70 years old right now. Like, I can't see what the fuck he did when he was 30, 40. Yeah. Imagine 18. Dude, he was probably the cringiest motherfucker when he was 11, but I'll never know. Yeah. We were all, but it's, it's me, a weird. You see me when I was 13, 14 on the internet, and it's cringy as fuck. What it's like. It's yeah, it's a weird it's concept that, like, like, literally our kids will be able to your look at. Your grandkids' grandkids are going to be able to see what the fuck you did on the internet. Yeah, it's insane. Which is insane. It That's is. fucking cool, too, though. I don't it is cool. It's cool, but it's like, we're still at a point where people aren't as understanding for it to be like. Because they'll use it against you is what I'm saying these days. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. being understanding like, oh, well, it was a long time ago. He didn't know anybody. I'm sure he like, you know, he learned and he grew it and shit like that. Like, yeah. I said that's so weird, but yeah. But I like what the best thing that I have now is I get validation from myself and only myself. Like I, there's no way like another person's opinion of me makes me feel better or worse but myself. It just doesn't. My mom's, but like in general, like her telling me that she's been so proud of me for the way I've been handling myself emotionally and stuff like that makes me so happy because she sees yeah. me so bad. She, and my, my sister and mom, they're not like yes men at all. Right, they will talk shit, and I'm. That's our dynamic. Our family, we just talk shit. Yeah, and I love it. Like, if you heard the way I talk, I'd be like, God damn! I'm like, I talk shit. She talks shit. My sister talks. Like, shit. challenge each other. Yeah, it's fun. Like, yeah. she's my friend. I, I like, I see her as like my best friend. I barely even see her as my mom sometimes. Like, I do. She's my mom, of course. But like, yeah. our relationship is way more best friendy than like how someone has like, the utmost respect for their mom and they're afraid to like swear or say certain shit around them. Like, fuck no. Like, yeah. hell no. That's not like me and my mom's relationship. It's like. Because, you know, most people, how they are with their parents, like, oh, don't say this around my mom. Like, yeah, my mom was here. We could still be talking about hookers and fucking somebody sipping Yeah, I talk with my mom. Like, yeah, my mom like, might, like, not want to talk about it on camera. She'd be like, oh, Yeah, on this? camera she wouldn't because, like, they're going to think I'm a bad mom. But, yeah. like, in real life, she does not give a fuck. Yeah, she, yeah, she wouldn't do it on a podcast, but she do it in real life. Yeah, that's cool. I mean? That's how I, did, I developed a similar relationship I with my love mom. it, though. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Yeah. For real. Like, that's why she's, I love her so much, bro. She's my queen. It's beautiful, but, um, man. Yeah. Now, everything I did, like, the first thing I did with my money, bro, was retire her. When I had like, when I was making 10K a month when I dropped out of high school, I gave her six. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. First thing I did was retire her. That's all I cared about doing. Cause she looked at a dollar store for such a long time, like hated her life. Yeah. You know, so that's like the first thing. It's I beautiful. Had that's why I love, bro. I like feel so special every time I see somebody like, like creators take care of their parents. But I feel like you have to. If you're a creator, you're not taking care of your parents, fuck you. Like you have to. Yeah. Unless, unless, you know, I can't say that because some people really do have bad relations with their parents. Yeah. Some I people's mean, moms are pieces of shit straight no but for real bro even one of my homies that died like what his and i already knew he told me his relationship with his mom how like she always like wasn't a good mom this that and then bro after seeing what happened when he passed pissed me the fuck off having context about how the way she was and then she didn't give a fuck about him just wanted every, all the money that he had and like she was fighting over money about that that shit hurts me bro like yeah. so as i'm saying not everybody some moms don't deserve it bro i'm sorry it's just a reality some That's moms tough. they it's well, a, there's a lot reality, of there's right? just people like that who are just like but like I'm sure 99% do though. I, like all the moms that I've met are actually like yeah. saints, right? But there's an exception for everything, right? You can't, bro. With eight billion people on Earth, like come on, there's, yeah, there's, there's gonna, gonna be, be bad people. Be you just gotta be like real about shit, right? That's why it's about accountability. Absolutely, yeah. Gotta be. Come on, I'm gonna piss real quick, and then we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Yes, my sir. Hold on. All right, boys. Quick interruption from the podcast. Uh, one of our sponsors, Roman Swipes. That's right. I've talked about this in the past. Listen, if you guys have a hard time lasting long enough or you feel like, yo, you just want to last longer, I don't know what it is. Obviously, to each their own personal preference, it's all good. Here's the deal. Roman Swipes has your back. Basically, all you have to do is like take this little thing out of this little packet and, you know, before f***ing playtime, you give yourself a little bit of time. Swipe, swipe. Don't, don't, don't do it too close to playtime. You got to do this like a little bit before. But yeah, it's going to, it's going to help you basically endure, you know, more time. So there you know you'd be able to enjoy your whole experience a little bit more so give roman swipes a try if you guys want to try it right now go to ro.co slash bradley again that's ro.co 
dot co slash bradley to get ten dollars off your first order and free two-day shipping don't pass it up do it right now support your boy let's get back into this podcast nah i every now and then this is whenever but yeah not yeah because i like i'll get a little too much anxiety if i smoke too much and so like i realized it's like i, lo I love it in certain moments and like i like a little bit pre-workout a little bit of caffeine but it's just like if i just go too much over the edge i'm like oh i feel really uncomfortable yeah, yeah. no i hear you so a part of me is just like is it worth it Sometimes it is because I really enjoy. I'm not gonna lie, man. Like working out, being like just enough high, the like pump's crazy. It's like it feels so good. I know. So I'm like, fuck, I want that, but I don't want it to go over the edge and then it fucks up, you know, four hours of my day because I'm yeah, anxious. Yeah, exactly. Because it makes so, you comfortable. You know, it makes you very yeah. comfortable in the moment. That's what's, which is an issue. Yeah, but so yeah, no, no, I, I, I'm not. I don't have anything against marijuana. I just, I just know I. There was times when I just probably did it too much. And what these are just mushrooms though. Oh yeah, I love mushrooms. Do you take them often? Uh, I haven't. I'm gonna start again. I normally microdose though, but not like your microdose, yeah, which yeah, is like not a microdose. microdose. Yeah, yeah. You're taking fucking mushrooms. I, know, I take like a like like literally. But a, it didn't hit me like that, so that's why I thought I was microdosing. I'm like, it's well, not. you have a high tolerance, clearly. Unfortunately, yeah, that's I why, don't. Bro, if I didn't, life would have been so much easier. I would have just smoked like a hit of weed, you know, tenth of a Xanax and called it a day, and never would have gone down. Yeah, dude, I have an extremely low tolerance to everything. But you're so big. Yeah, I don't know. I think my body just. I think my body is very efficient. Like meaning, like it takes something and it it uses it. That's good. So That's it works. Like it works for much me. Much of anything. Exactly. That's I've really been that way. Even like a little bit of caffeine gets you right. Like you yeah. need that. A little bit of caffeine. I need so much caffeine. I need so much. Even when I would take the Xanax, I I would take point twenty five. Yes, okay. bro. Never mind. We're gonna hold. So that for me, just to give you like a exactly like the day that I OD'd, I took a thousand of those. That's what I'm saying. I can take 0.25 on an airplane and be like, oh, this works. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So I can't even imagine taking yeah. that. Like I would be, I'd be in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Like I would be like, or just asleep in the hospital. Yeah. I don't know. Probably asleep. Cause I don't think I can make it to the hospital. I'd probably wake up in a hospital. I don't know. Anyways, I, I, yeah, the drug things, it's crazy. This, this whole shit. Uh, again, I, I mean, it just comes down to just, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's funny. Self accountability, moderation, understanding that, you know, in all these circumstances, what business I would and life say is I'm only like this because of what I've already like used and stuff like that. But if I could go back, bro, I won't do none of it. I would tell every single person, every single person that hasn't tried anything yet, I'm like, please don't ever. But it's the people that talking about money. You're talking about drugs. Any sort of drug. Other yeah. than honestly, the only thing I will argue is like sometimes some psychedelics aren't because you don't do them all the time. And it's not like that. Right. It's like for somebody who doesn't do drugs is to try shrooms once for perspective. Not a bad thing. But. I would never say try a Percocet or Lean or Xanax no. or anything for perspective. Yeah, but shrooms like you can't get something. Uh, yeah, I would. I absolutely, I would, absolutely stand by the fact bro, that keep everyone your chemical balance intact and don't do none. Like if you haven't done anything, yeah, no, especially not nicotine because that's the only reason I smoke weed every day is because of nicotine. I'm so fucking addicted to nicotine; it's insane. So you smoke weed because of nicotine? Or good? I strictly smoke weed because of nicotine. I like weed, but I just wouldn't. I wouldn't even smoke weed every day if it was just for the weed, at all. So like spliffs? Not even. I smoke blunt spliffs, which is even worse. Uh, Blunt weed, and then I put this really strong tobacco in it. Fuck, yeah, I'm dude. insane. And it's fucked because tobacco is like a. It's a really actually could be a really beneficial thing. It's just done too excessively, and it's crazy. Really? What do you mean by beneficial? There's actually a I ton heard that there's of there's a lot of health to, benefits of tobacco. Tons, but tons to tobacco, like really? in its refined state, not just like not just the way we have it in cigarettes and all the other bullshit. Like in its like more natural actual yeah. state. Like there's a. Use. Can I show you one? Yeah. It's like what I this what I use. Let me see. This pack's better. Yeah. Let me Open see. Open it up. That's what I strictly use. It's natural tobacco. There's absolutely no flavor, nothing added. I used to smoke backwards, but then the flavors are just so cancerous. So I kind of, I mean, I guess it's all cancerous, but yeah, but it's this extra cancerous. But you can use things like this in a in a in a in a more like yeah exactly in a more meaningful way. That's not it's it's, straight tobacco. Yeah. What's yeah. that? Strictly grava, bro. Yeah, you can, you can, there's ways to do it. I mean, obviously people, like I said, everything's in excess is what's fucking things up. Exactly. But there's actually are, there actually are health benefits to this. Some dude told me that in the sauna one time and I thought he was batshit crazy. Just nah. trying to fucking, really? you know, just trying to make himself feel okay for smoking. No, nah, it's true. I mean, it's, it's, you know, if you do it all the time, it's like, and you're just doing it excessively because you're just doing it for other reasons. But like people have used this stuff for thousands and thousands of, of course, years yeah. for actual medicinal benefits. But we get caught up in like, you know, tweaking it to making it something that it's not. But you know, that's why I kind of, like I tell people, like, I'd rather you smoke cigarettes than a vape. But even cigarettes have extra shit. Cigarettes, it does, it does. But I still bullshit. think that at least with cigarettes, we've seen what has happened to our like, like where we all have like grandparents or like aunts or whatever that have been smoking since they were 13. 
And yeah, a lot of them get good old fashioned lung cancer at like forty and shit. I see like where that. you're going with this. But yeah. like with vapes, you see kids on breathalyzers at twenty. That's yeah. insane. That does not happen with like. Well, there's definitely some other shit in those in those vapes. These yeah. idiots always was doing it. I was like, yo, you fucking idiots, what are you nah, doing? Nah, I I vaped for a little. bit. I even have like a character of Vape Lord Nord, but I am so beyond. Like, I'm so against them now because I just think it's like, dude, it's already unnatural that we're smoking things. It's too putting accessible in our lungs, too. But now we're gonna put artificial flavors in. Our, that's insane. Yeah, and it's too easy. It's, it's like, just like it's like a it's, little. That's the, okay. You charge it. it like, I have to at least work and roll my shit. You know what I mean? I have to fucking cut yeah. that bitch out, break up the weed. Like it's a process, right? And I can't just smoke anywhere. With the, when I used to like smoke like jewels and shit on a plane, there was literally no spot I couldn't smoke. It's yeah. impossible. And you can charge that bitch anywhere because it charges the other devices. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked, dude. And you just buy extra pods and you can always just replace it. There's no issue. I do. I actually always have two jewels on me all the time. That was honestly like new age, new age beginning of cigarette era again, where it was like yeah. everyone got addicted to like something that's like really probably dude, I sketchy. I feel like that's low key why I'm still so addicted to nicotine. I need to cut that shit bad, bro. Like I need to because it's. And that's the one thing I've ever been addicted to is nicotine. I've never been addicted to, addicted to drugs or nothing like that, but nicotine for some fucking reason. I mean, you could do it though. I know I can. Just time me. Just absolutely. Slowly. I absolutely know I can. I just don't want to. That's the issue. But yeah. I want to. I want to because I'm like, damn, I don't want to be addicted to nothing, but I don't want to. I'm like, I feel so good, dog. <laughs> yeah. 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 But life's about being uncomfortable sometimes, man. I know. I know. That's the thing you know. No, get used you, to. you get the most when you're uncomfortable. That's when you actually like yeah. learn and grow. You don't gain nothing when you're comfortable all the time. Yeah. You, know you should mean? challenge yourself this year. Try try to do it where you're not addicted to it. Well, actually, I have like cut down significantly. Like before, yeah. I've pretty much chain smoke all day for the most part. But now it's like I try. Like I haven't smoked today at all. No nicotine today so far. And I've been awake for five hours. So it's like <laughs> that's good for me. That's incredible for me. By the yeah, way, yeah, it's just funny when someone. No, says I know, that. I know, I know. But technically, if you count my sleep too, we're doing a lot more hours. That's but hilarious. Still, like I'm just that. Ad- yeah, I just be smoking it every single day. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah like you should try to. I don't. I mean, you you know what you got to do. Yeah, it's, 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 you got to want it. That's all. Yeah. No, Change and it. I do. You know, I've gone to the point now where I absolutely do. So yeah, we're in the process of cutting it down. But damn, I feel like I should stop being ambitious and just go cold turkey, huh? I don't know. About, I mean, that's the hardest way, but it works. Um, I did that with like all the other drugs and everyone. That's why everyone thought I was going to like relapse or whatever, which I technically did relapse, but never. Like why don't that. you start doing it instead of just stopping it? This is me being like, I'm apparently a drug fucking specialist, but you do sell like, a lot of them. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently. Why did don't you, ever you sell me any when I was on shit? I don't remember. No, no, no. I wasn't actually a drug dealer. I know. No, I'm no. kidding. <laughs> um, no, no, seriously. I think maybe what if you start just smoking nicotine, like uh, with, with intention instead of just to smoke. If you're like, okay, an I'm s- meaning like, okay, I'm going to smoke this nicotine because I want, I want a little bit more energy to focus on this. And then you're doing it yeah. with that in mind instead of just like, I'm doing it just because I'm bored and I should be smoking nicotine. I hear you. So it's like, because I love smoking like on car drives, for example. So like, yeah. oh, that's probably bad to say, right? But it's okay. Yeah. Um, that's like, I like, do, or like watching a movie or specific things like that. So you're saying this more, give it a purpose and exactly. not ever do it. In, I have Try that. That's low key you, what I've been doing though. That's what I'm saying. I've had no purpose to smoke it, so I haven't. That's perfect. Yeah, that's I'm saying so if like instead of I'm just doing it because I should be doing this and your brain's just like you need it, you need it, you need it, so you do it. Being like, you know what? Tonight I'm gonna lay down, I'm gonna watch this show or this movie, and I'm gonna do it then, and I'm gonna yes. u- like have this moment. Absolutely. Or if I'm ideating videos and shit like that, I'm gonna fo- I'm gonna show. use absolutely. it because it's a tool. Yeah, yeah. And it, it becomes it becomes not a tool. All these kind of drugs when you use it all. Fucking yeah. Then it's I feel just like that's the worst part about vapes is that's what it programmed my brain to be because I never used to think that way about nicotine at all. Yeah. It used to be moderate, like. I used to just smoke a blunt every now and then and not smoke one for like three days. That's impossible now. Not impossible. That's just not what I do now, right? Yeah. So I, I'm telling you the fucking like jewels and the puffs and all them bullshit vapes, they program your brain to constantly get that fucking dopamine every two seconds, every three yeah. seconds. So now, so now you now you, you got to just program yourself differently. Yeah. Like, no, no. And I, that's what I've been doing because I realized that a long time. I'm like, yeah, that's like why this shit's fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any questions for me? Um, I always like to do this shit. Any specific questions? Nah, nothing specific. Nothing ever specific. Oh, um, yeah, man. Just in general. Not necessarily. Just like yeah. you know, like how you been, bro? You been good? It's I'm like, good. Honestly, I've been a little stressed out. I just opened a gym. Uh, two saw, days where ago. was it? It's not. A, it's not in Woodland Hills, right? No, it's in Encino. Okay, it's not far. Yeah, just opened a gym, and, and uh, it was a little frustrating because, like, you know, you open a gym, and I've spent, you know, obviously tons of money. None of that's really the important part, but you, you, you want people to be like, oh, this is amazing, and everyone thought it was amazing, and then I did this. I was like. We were in this moment where we were, we didn't plan it as good as we should have. And like people, we needed people to leave because there were so many people outside. There was like a massive line. Yeah, so listen. So listen to what happens. 
I invited a bunch of people to show up, right? You saw the flyers and shit. I was, mm -hmm. I don't know, posting my story. So all these, like, I invited all these influencers out to come to be There's at like the event. Adam there and stuff. Adam, like Mike, all these people to show up so that people can come and meet them and see the gym and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, there's thousands of people. They're all lined up, wrapped around the building. It's pouring rain. But first bunch of people come in. There's like, I don't know, a thousand people in the gym packed, right? Then for like an hour and a half. And then we're realizing like, oh shit, well, there's more people outside. We got to get them in. The line's not moving. So we need to get some of these people out, mm -hmm. right? So we're like, a few times go by. We're like, yo, some, you guys are like, yo, you guys got to get out. Got to get out. No one's leaving. Yo, you guys really got to get out. Cause like, we got it. You Why know, weren't they leaving though? That's, were they not listening or did they not give a fuck? Kind of, I don't know, just both. They didn't probably, probably were like, yo, I want to enjoy, I want to experience this, I want to enjoy this, yeah. right? But so did all the other people. So it got to the point where we're getting up there and I, and I get up, I get up on top of the thing in like a stand on somewhere in the gym and I'm like, yo, everyone's got to get, if you're not an influencer. And I said this in a way that it's like, I'm going to tell you what happened after. But I said like, yo, if you're not an influencer, you got to leave. But the whole idea was if you weren't one of the people that I invited, to, you know, to stay, to leave everyone, Unless you're one of those people because people came to see all those people because yeah, we promoted yeah. it, right? So then I say that and I'm, I'm, I'm basically saying like, yo, if you're not one of these influencer people, you guys got to leave. On the internet, you know, how, how it goes on the internet. Of course, but like he's, <laughs> yeah. you know, everyone who's not an influencer yeah, yeah. is so lame, only cares about the influencers. Exactly. He only cares if you so have followers. Someone have videos that though and they cut it. So it's like, if you're not an influencer, get the <laughs> fuck out. <laughs> and, and it's just like, people are like, this dude's so corny. Like, yeah. Not, and it's like, bro, yeah, 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 all we were it. trying to do was create space for the other people who are outside. Isn't it so shitty to when like they cut it to like make you seem a certain way? And it's like, I mean, like it's like, and then I look at it now. It's like, I could have been more like, Oh, if you're not an influencer that I invited specifically to this, but I'm like you yelling so fucking specific. And it's annoying yeah. to me. Cause bro, I was drunk. I was, I was oh, yeah. drinking. So I was like, I'm trying to fucking, cause like I'm stressed. Like we're, we haven't slept for like days. I'm like, yo, I want to celebrate this. I'm drinking. So I'm out there. Like, I'm not being like specific with my words, but I get it. It's like, Someone's going to go, well, you have such a responsibility. You should be. It's like, go fuck yourself, dude. Yeah, yeah I got your perfect in every way. No, what I was trying to do was simple. There was a thousand more people outside. We wanted them to come in and to experience the whole thing. Yeah. And so we were trying to move people out multiple times. And eventually we're like, yo, you guys got to get the fuck out. And then that's the clip. And it goes viral. And it's like, he only cares about influencers. It's like, yo, go suck my dick straight up. Know. Suck my dick straight up. <laughs> I mean that for real. You guys are fucking scumbags for that. And it's always the people that like don't even put themselves. No, but it's like, here's the this is the thing. It's always the people who are never there. That's always the people who aren't actually there. Of course. That's what so I'm the saying. people it's who don't people actually understand background. it, they go, oh yeah, I wasn't there. Fuck this guy. He has a gym. I'm going to get views on my Twitter or my fucking exactly. TikTok, whatever exactly. the fuck it is. And also they know that they get engagement and attention talking shit. Exactly. So it's like, that's what people do. They literally talk shit for those reasons. Whenever I used to get crazy comments on my videos, it's so that they, they want to be the thumbs up comment. That's all they want. They yeah. don't actually want to like hurt me or say anything bad. They just want to get the thumbs up comment. Yeah, it. They're feeding it is what it is. Like negative people. But it's just it's just frustrating because like you do all the shit and then you're just like, oh, really? You fuckers like made it about that? Yeah. You fucking assholes. And it the, the whole thing's free. It's like I, and people were saying too, oh, he charged for people. I didn't charge no one to get in. Didn't charge yeah. no one to get in. Didn't charge for food. We gave everything for free. Yeah. In fact, I'm fixing the door because they broke it. That's why it's like a middle ground. It's like, do you either just stop giving a fuck what everyone says or do you keep like, or do you? I, I don't know. I'm at a point now. Things differently. I'm going to tell you, yeah, I, I try, but at the same time, you're never going to be perfect, right? Even I if still, I said everything exactly, happy, exactly how they thought I wanted to, I should have said it. You should have done it. You should have had this, should have had that. Like they'll still find some shit. They will always find some shit to be mad at. And I just realized what I know that I'm going to be doing more of is I'm going to be saying, suck my fucking dick. I'm doing me, period. As you should. And, and because I have never, ever been mean to anyone intentionally just because I want to be a fucking asshole. And I have never worst, done right? that shit. It's like I've, when you know your intentions as a human, bro, you know that you're not like that, but then everyone's painting you to be that way. It's bro, like, what the fuck? I've been painted that way so many times in so many situations because someone else wanted to make money from that. And a lot because, of those news people, like, I don't know if you know, like, you know who like, Jake Lucky is and people like that? I've seen him on Twitter, like, I think. That dude built, he started his career trying to expose me for scamming people on Counter-Strike, on a gambling site. They all wanted to believe the story because they boosted their channels and got all the attention off painting me to be like a scammer and the owner of a fucking gambling site and things like that. I said everything that happened. I've been so transparent since day one, but they want to paint you that way so that they can boost their careers. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah, and it's, just, and it's like I said, it's, it's like, do you say anything? Do you, I just realized I'm just like, I'm just going to speak candidly about it. I don't give a fuck because like no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. Could I have done things differently? Sure. Could I have done it a little bit better? Sure. But at the same time, like 
the, I'm going to be honest, man. That whole thing was rushed at the end of the day. We, we had a deadline. We had to hit it. We built that gym in five fucking weeks. Yeah. We had six months to do it. There's a whole bunch of issues that happened because I didn't do things the way that I should have handled them earlier on in the thing. So it's like I'm accepting that. But at the same time, to be painted in some negative light that I know is not me genuinely is frustrating because it's always people from the outside who just go like, I want to make you look this way so that people think this way about you, so that people think this way about me. I'm good. Look at me, guys. Up, Buy my man? shit. S search my videos. Like, yeah. yo, suck my fucking dick, dude. Straight up. And I just realized, like, I just got to the point where I'm just going to say it. And I'm done not saying shit because people want to just get fucking clout or views. I'm going yeah. to tell the truth. Because there have been times when people ran their mouth about me years ago, and I, and I held my tongue, and it did more damage than it did good. Yep. Because I think, oh, I'm going to be the bigger guy. Not that I shouldn't, you shouldn't be the bigger person or whatever, or like avoid the drama. But there are some things that like, you just need to tell your truth. That's it. But the problem with that whole situation too, at the same time, not, not the gym thing, just internet drama. Someone can say one thing about you and you could say the other thing that could be completely true. This can be completely false, right? Like whatever this is, however they frame it, some people are still going to see and go, that's true. No matter what you say next, that's wrong. Yeah. Just because it's a reaction to, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. you don't really win, but then I'm just, I just realized as I've done this for so long, like that if I don't really win, then fuck it. But you know, this is just like me. never ending battle. Right? Exactly. So it's like, you kind of just have to take things as they go. And just like, whatever happens, happens. You can, all you can do is just say your part, show who you are. And that's it. And if people take it the wrong way and people don't believe who you are and they think that you have negative intention, fuck them, bro. Yeah. Because people... I also feel like a lot of people, and I said this in one of those videos the other day, like, again, I want to bring up the gambling thing again. I thought a lot of people thought that I did this and I built like a shell company, all of these things. And like, I scam people because that's what they would do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's why like some people, like sometimes like the boyfriend gaslights his girlfriend and are you a cheater? Are you a cheater? Because he's the one cheating. He's the one talking to bitches. So he's like, he gaslights her in his beat. Bro. But that's what I'm saying. That's what a lot of people do. They project. They project yeah, for sure. They are on you. So they think... If I was in that position, I would for sure scam people and take the money so they think I would. And I'm like, that, but I'm not like y'all. I don't know what the fuck you want me to say. Yeah. So it's like a lot of it is projection, bro. People, and that just shows you who the shitty people are because that's how they think. They think that you would do that. Even though I don't know for sure, they, just, they think you would because that's what they would do. Yeah. It's and fucked, man. Yeah. But that's how I am right now, if you ask. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, so how are you? Yeah, because this is recent. I was like, these fucking assholes, man. <laughs> fucking Jim's glorious. And they're like, he doesn't like regular people like bro what the fuck who's are you gonna be working about? out at your gym regular people what the that's fuck who's going who are the people that they're interact with? there to pop it off they're probably not going to that gym no they are they are are they, they yeah, the yeah. most no, no, of them yeah like, I assume because it's but also dude you know they go somewhere it closer. doesn't even matter it's like i uh, that's just a crazy oh, thing specifically invite influencers that live in the area that would like i mean i invited there. tons of influencers that okay. i knew and it basically just showed up and i had them post it and they posted mm -hmm. it like i posted all of them they posted if they wanted to it is what it was it was just the goal was just to make the shit hype and have people show yeah, up of course and then you know we just didn't do the best job moving people through but yeah. like you don't gotta go shit on someone yeah you know it's like but man you know what color is your fucking gym <laughs> no i'm kidding i'm kidding gym? yeah i'm kidding i saw that i only said that because i saw a comment i saw a comment i was like that was funny but yeah anyways that that's where i'm at um but you should come by and train, man. I would, I'd love to, bro. Yeah. It's not that far from me. I live in like Burbank, so it's like. But yeah, it's close then. It's closer than, than my first gym, which is right over here uh, in Wilden Hills. But yeah, man, I appreciate you coming. I appreciate course, you being camp. This was me, honestly bro. like a great conversation on, on a lot of levels. And I appreciate just like the, just the genuineness in it. Of course, bro. You know? That's all I can be. I just, yeah. There's too many people out here that are just like lying and just like making themselves, like they care too much about their image. Like I say things almost to destroy my image every time I talk, to be honest. <laughs> just, that's the reality. If you're a real person. What you say isn't always what people want to hear. Yeah, that's why I can understand why people don't want to be around me sometimes. Because like, I'm the friend that tells them, "Nah, you're fucking up there. Nah, you should be doing this better." And it's not like a, I think I'm better than you. It's just that I feel like somebody should tell them that. I wish people told me that. Yeah, I don't like yes men. I, I don't like people so. that don't tell me when I'm wrong. I don't want to be friends with you if you don't tell me when I'm wrong. I, I care. Like, yeah, because it does. I don't feel demeaned by you. That's the thing. People get defensive and they feel like they're being demeaned when I say like, "Yo, you Loki could do this better." It's like. You know what I mean? Like they feel like, wow, he thinks I'm not good enough. And they start like shutting ah, down. And they get insecure I, I agree. I agree. And I it's think like, it's a sign of caring. Yeah. You know? And that's like why me and my family are the way we are is because they get that. That's why I talk shit to them because like who else is gonna, who yeah. else cares about them enough to talk shit? I always tell them how much easier it is for me to just be like, now keep killing. You got this queen. And it's like, shut the fuck up and not say anything. It's so much easier yeah. to just like say, yeah, no, you got this. Instead of giving somebody the advice that they need to hear. Yeah. And I'm thinking about, I'm like, what the fuck do I gain? I'm telling you this. Most of the times when I give people advice and I say things and I'm just being real with people, what do I gain realistically? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. I'm doing it for you. But people aren't able to identify that. They think about, and then they'll listen to the guy who's getting paid from them and who tells them, no, 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 you're doing great. 
the, the motherfucker that's, not, that's afraid to lose their job and all that. Because that's what it, a lot of it is a phase two. A lot of the employees, executives even, they come to me and be like, bro, I wish I could do what you're doing, but I'm just an employee. I can't, I have to play the game. I can't do this. I can't speak. I'm worried about myself, my deal. That's what it all is. So Self. I'm just like, fuck me. I'll sacrifice myself for y'all. Self-preservation, yeah. That's nah, okay. It is what yeah, it is. you clearly don't give a fuck about that. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Bro, I tried to off myself for four years. I, I give a fuck about like saying the truth online. Like, what the God. fuck's the worst that could happen? It's like, so, what the hell? It's so I just don't want to deal with ever. I don't ever want to get to a situation where it's like, I keep doing this. And I end up in like Tate-like situations or like the situations where, you know, the elites try to fuck with you. I don't really want to end up in a situation. I kind of dealt with like a mini situation with that with like phase because, you know. I'll tell you as soon as we end the pod because I don't want to incriminate somebody. Shit. But yeah, well, I will, let's we gotta end it because I want to hear that story. Yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah. it's not that deep, but it's just you know you never know. I like you hearing never know it. what I happens. Like, I like the uh, off off camera camera talk. So <laughs> that's dope. But yeah, I appreciate you coming, man. You're you're you, you're brother. awesome. I appreciate, I appreciate all the right time. Right. Um, Look forward to see what you do next, for sure. Thank you, brother. And, uh, yo, subscribe to the channel, podcast on iTunes, Spotify, all that good shit. Oh, you, you know, know iTunes, Spotify, too? Fire. iTunes, Spotify, YouTube. YouTube does the best, though, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, well, nah, dude, actually, my downloads are pretty lit. On Spotify? Yeah, audio uh, on iTunes. Oh, fire. iTunes, is, the downloads are lit, bro. That's crazy. I see most people just want to see the video. Because whenever I watch podcasts, I never listen. I just watch. Yeah, I mean, it's just two. I think, like, they're... Two different, like, uh, fan bases for that. There's a lot of people yeah. that love to listen. Older, yeah. older generation more they're listening. They're used to that, though, because there wasn't yeah. as much video podcast back yeah. then. Yeah, so right? having both is dope. Because, like, obviously, new guys coming in. New generation, in, old generation. Like, we're dope. talking about. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Boom. Nah, I hear you. So anyways, um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you. you, man. Yes, sir. For sure.